What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up over 15 brand new 2021 Hot Wheels, including the new Tesla Cybertruck. And the first car that we'll start it off with is the 2019 Audi R8 Spider from Hot Wheels Exotic Series. And this is the mainline variation. They did have a super treasure variation of this exact car, but the mainline one, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and pop it open right here and just look at the shine of that. So glossy. Absolutely love it. We love these wheels as well. Check them out, those nice chrome wheels. Great detail on the front end of the R8. And then the spider variation, you can see the black seats in the interior right there. Nice detail on the rear end as well. Little Audi logo right there, but just a great looking car overall. Really, really happy to have this casting in the lineup and liking all these new colors. And now it's coming as a super treasure run as well. 67 Camaro from the HW Dream Garage. And we've got the worldwide written on the side of I'm not sure the significance of this car. If anyone else knows, they can let me know in the comments section down below. But let's go ahead and open this one up and you can see the writing of worldwide just right on the side right there. Look at all the graphics and stuff, all the details on there. If we look on the top as well, we've got all these weird things, RS, and it says all these weird writing and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't know the significance of this car and what it's supposed to mean or what it's supposed to stand for. So if you guys know, you guys can let me know, but I like the color of it. I think it's really cool. The nice chrome on the front end, the chrome base down there as well. It's just an overall nice looking Hot Wheels car. Two Jet Z from the Rod Squad series in glossy red. I really, really like the glossy red look of this one. Let's go ahead and open this one up and take a close up look at that and check it out. Two Jet see if you guys aren't familiar with it is the hot wheels uh winner from the hot wheels tour so just look at that legends tour winner car i think it was 2018 2018 or 2019 can't remember exact year but i think it's a great great looking car uh very very interesting it's kind of like half jet half car in the red and then with the you know, the shark fin bite thing that they see seem to do on quite a few cars but very very interesting i like to see this one in the hot wheels line and from Space Jam, a new legacy, the brand new Space Jam movie with LeBron James in it from HW Space 70s Van. And it's got all the Space Jam characters on the side. We're just going to open this one up and we're going to get a nice look at all the cool stuff on the side of it. Let's look from this side right here first. And there is LeBron and all the Space Jam characters. There we go. The Toon Squad. It's got the Hot Wheels logo on it. got some nice gold wheels on there space jam that it says right down there nothing written on the back of it pretty plain and from this side i think is it the same no it's different from this side there we go so we can see some different graphics you can see lebron i guess with a bunch of basketballs and stuff dunking goon squad on this one right here goon so we go toon squad right there and goon squad right there i guess that would be the competition of who they play i haven't seen the movie yet so i'm not really 100 percent sure but still very, very cool looking Space Jam from the front of it. Cool looking car. 67 Chevy C10 pickup truck from HW Hot Trucks. Nice looking blue color on this one. Kind of a lighter blue, maybe baby blue, I guess you could say. And we got a little bit darker blue on the bottom. We got the Goodyear logo right there. Blacked out wheels with the chrome lip on there. The big cowl hood on this one as well. Chrome on the front end, chrome on the interior, and then chrome in the back end as well. We got the big slots and cutouts for the wheel tire combination. I guess it's supposed to be like a drag truck, but pretty neat looking pickup truck. And we have a brand new casting. It is the Nissan Leaf Nismo RC02 from the HW Green Speed. Nissan Leafs are fully electric vehicle so it is from the HW Green Speed. There we go. Let's go ahead and pop it open and we can see this one up close right here. Uh, nice looking kind of a grayish silver color. Uh, it's got some shine to it. It's got some glossy paint over it over like a sparkly paint job on there. We got the Nissan Intelligent Mobility written on the side of it. Big spoiler on the rear end right there. Not much as far as detail or anything goes in the back. I don't even know if it's supposed to have any details in the back. Do you guys know? Is it maybe supposed to be just like that for aerodynamics? It could be. And from the front end, 
There we go, the classic Nissan look on the front end. I'm not a big fan of the Nissan Leaf in real life, to be completely honest with you. And then they made it into a race car. I feel like this is one of the cars that you just don't really need to make into a race car. So it's cool in a Hot Wheels format, but nah, not my favorite. Erkenstein Rod is back in a new color variation. There it is. Let's go ahead and open it up, get a nice look at Erkenstein Rod. And we've seen him in some pretty, uh, like, kind of like aggressive tough colors and now we've got it in this like lighter color so it's kind of odd to have it in in this particular color but Urkin Sun Rod nice looking casting and you can see it's got all like the slots and stuff like that the engine underneath there that's kind of like a weird roll bar on it blacked out wheels with a chrome lip on it there and what does it say it says wheels motor something wheels motor. it's so hard to read but we can see it just written there on the side and we've got something that sticks out right here. I guess that kind of helps the engine. I don't know. And the engine's in the front, so I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what that's supposed to be at the top right there. And there we go. We can see it looks like you even got a turbo or something on the front there. But Erkenstein Rod in our new color variation. Tesla Cybertruck, the one you have been waiting for, the one that I've been waiting to open up. I can't wait to hold this car, see how it is. And we got it from the HW Green Speed, of course, because it's an electric pickup truck. So let's go ahead and pop open the Tesla Cybertruck here and see what it's all about. All right, all right, look at this. Okay, so we got plastic on the back, and this is supposed to be like maybe a solar charging panel, I think. In real life is what they're trying to make this into be. Uh, metal body, so I think it is metal body. I think it's fully metal body just on the sides and then plastic underneath. It doesn't feel particularly heavy. It's kind of average for a Hot Wheels car. I know it kind of looks like it might be heavier, but it's not, but it's a great looking. I mean, it's just, I, I, like I said in my unboxing video, the Cybertruck, it's kind of ugly, but it's kind of like so ugly that I love it. I just, I just love the, how they made it like this and they made the aggressive design and and when the Cybertruck came out, when it originally was announced, I was like, okay, that can't be the actual truck. Let, let's see the actual truck. And then they finished off their announcement and that was it. And it shocked the world that they made a truck look like this, but now it's kind of grown on a lot of people, including myself. And it's, it's kind of somewhat cool now. I kind of think the Cybertruck is cool. So I don't know, what do you guys think of the Tesla Cybertruck, especially in a Hot Wheels format? You guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it. From HW Screen Time, we've got Mario Kart's cart, the standard cart. And there is Mario on there looking cool. Standard cart, so we actually had a whole like Mario Kart series that came out with all the Mario Karts. And then for some reason, they're just now releasing them in the main line. So we've got the main line, Mario standard cart right here and you can see it and so obviously Mario's not on it which is what the difference is on the other ones but I think it's kind of cool it's just like the Mario standard Mario Kart and I think you could probably fit like a Lego guy on here maybe I don't know if it actually fits but it's kind of cool to see it in the mainline format right there there's the big exhaust that comes out the interesting wheel tire combination the blue base on there the red and white on the top with the M for Mario and I assume we I don't know I actually don't know if we're gonna get maybe the other characters we're gonna get Luigi and, and Yoshi and all of them characters maybe we might we might get them in the future guys but what do you think of Mario Kart's standard cart see me rolling from Xperia Motors crazy interesting casting and I'll show you guys exactly what it is if you guys are playing and you need a dice all you need to do is grab a see me rolling because it has a dice built into it so if we see when it rolls just right on here you can actually spin it just like that this would be cool to play monopoly with i think maybe you can just spin it just like that and then we look on the inside right there you can see there's the number one and there's six there's five there's four there's three there's two back to one there we go so see me rolling very very cool interesting casting there's the dice on the top of it as well in this nice looking red color porsche Taycan turbo s from h W green speed quite a few electric cars in this video but hey Porsche Taycan Turbo S very very quick car in real life and very very nice electric car I like the design of it let's go ahead and have a look at that Taycan design very classic Porsche but then it just 
looks very, very cool from the front end. I just love this design. I mean, obviously you don't need any like air intakes or anything like that. So it's kind of like the bottom right here. I don't think it's actually real intakes or anything. I'm not sure how it does for cooling maybe of the brakes or something like that, but it just looks so cool. It just looks so, so cool. I actually hope that they release this in white with like the blacked out wheels because that's kind of what they're uh, their the concept variation the mission concept came out with it, it had like white on the wheels and they were black on the inside it looked really really cool so maybe we'll get a white one in the future i assume we're definitely going to get some three colors of the porsche icon turbo s but until then we've got this nice little red color gt scorcher from hw screen time matte blue finish on this one it's an interesting looking casting it's got some aerodynamic design kind of like with this like flat base bottom right here different wheel tire combination from the front and the rear really cool looking matte finish paint job on here really like this these kind of look like speakers on the back of it i don't know exactly what those are supposed to be but we got the big spoiler on the rear end of it the hot wheels logo on the side of it and that nice big front kind of like right there so i guess it's more aerodynamic but what do you guys think of this one a cool new muscle car the amc rebel machine just check out that cool color from the muscle mania series i really like this one i think it was really cool to see this one come to the hot wheels lineup and then to open it up in this cool looking color i love the kind of like it's red white and blue but it's like a lighter blue it's not like it's I don't think it's supposed to be like the red, white, and blue for the US of A, but still, it kind of is, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is just red, white, and blue for America. It's AMC. It's an American American Motors company. So there you go. So, so maybe it is. I, I stand corrected, guys. And we got the nice chrome red wheels on there. We got the chrome front bumper, chrome on the bottom. It is a very american of this car the amc rebel machine i think it looks really really cool i really like this one happy to have this one praying menace check out the praying menace from the street beast series and let's go ahead and open up praying menace and it's uh it's basically like it's like a praying menace i mean what it is that's what it is you can see it right there it's supposed to look like that we got the cool looking design the body on there yeah, look at all the, the graphics and stuff on there. I think it actually really makes this car. Red tires. Red tires. We don't see that very often, but we got the red tires to match the red base of this one. And then the kind of like darkened out, like one seater position for this one. I guess it's supposed to be kind of like an F1 type of car. The engine on the bottom with the chrome all down there as well. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I, some of these fantasy cars are cool. This one. I think it's really cool. I do, I actually have to give it to it. It is a really cool looking fantasy car. And last but not least, we've got the Pixel Shaker in a new color. This is the Pixelated Bone Shaker. If you're not familiar with this one, it's been out now for several years and it's pretty neat looking. You can see now it's got the skull on there, the pixelated skull like the Bone Shaker has. And if we look in front, the pixelated bone shaker from the front as well and on the top it definitely looks like like what is it like minecraft or something like that i guess they, they have all the pixelated stuff on there i don't really play any of those but check out this one the pixel shaker blacked out wheels on it very very nice cool to have another recolor of this one and that's gonna wrap it up for this unboxing video guys in the comment section down below let me know which car was your favorite i know a lot of you guys are gonna be picking that cyber truck but there's lots of other good choices let me know in the comment section down below thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye bye What's up, peak timers phil here from peak time racing today we're gonna open up a bunch of new hot wheels including this brand new Bugatti. And we'll start it off with the 2015 Dodge Charger SRT from the HW Rescue series. And this one actually came as a Chase ID car as well. So watch for that on the pegs. But until then, we've got the mainline variation. So let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice look at it. And it is a nice bright yellow color, as you can see right there. We've got some writing on the front that says Rescue 7 on it, which is interesting. If we look from the front, we don't have much as far as tampa work or anything like that goes. You can see right there for the front lights. They've saved all the lettering and stuff for the side and the top of it. We've got some little lights on there. They got that light bar right there. The blacked out wheels with the nice colored lip on there. And we don't have much on the back as far as stamping or anything like that goes. 
Cosmos, but not bad an all around good looking Dodge Charger. Tricera truck. We've got a brand new color variation of it from the Dino Rider series. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a look at this one. And this is quite the interesting casting if you're a fantasy collector. This is definitely one to get because just look at how crazy this thing is. Just look at this, the weird like kind of fin things that are coming up and the horns that are on it. it looks very, very aggressive from the front end. We got the nice colored wheels and the colored lip on them as well. And in the back, it looks like we've got the engine with the exhaust that just kind of rotates right out of there. But overall, kind of a funny looking casting, but I do like the new recolors of these ones. Nissan R390 GT1, brand new color of this one in red from the Factory Fresh series. We did see this one originally release in blue as the first release casting new for 2021. Let's go ahead and pop open this new red one. And it's kind of like a, a darker, like maroonish candy apple type red color you can see right there. We don't have much as far as stamping or anything like that goes. It's a pretty clean looking car. We can see these wheels on here. They're kind of period correct. This is like a, I think it's an early nineties car. And we look on the back right there, we've got some nice stamping and tempo work for the lights and all of that right there. And on the front end, you can see the nice stamping for the lights right there. So it's a nicely detailed car. I like that grill on the front looks really good. It's just an overall fast looking designs car. Turtle shell, brand new color of turtle shell as you can see from the street b series very chromed out on the turtle shell different color wheels tire combination from the front and back let's go ahead and have a look at turtle shell right here this kind of goes with our previous dinosaur car kind of looks like that style right there but there is the turtle look on the front red turtle with the big chrome shell on that one very very cool like that big chrome shell very shiny uh red wheels and then the front we've got the different colored ones with the white kind of on the inside trim right there we've got the big exhaust coming coming out the back right there and the engine right there. Very, very nice. You can see that little cute little turtle face on this one. 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata from the then and now series. We've got a brand new color variation of this one right here. Let's go ahead and see what it's all about. And this one does have a matte finish paint job on there. It's a matte gray. I actually really, really like this one. It does look really cool. It feels really nice. Uh, we got the nice striping that comes kind of off centered. We actually saw this exact car in red, same striping and everything like that. We got the nice blacked out wheels on there. We got some white trim on the side with the Mazda logo right there. The Hot Wheels logo right out the front right there as well. Big rear wing on this one. We got the roll cage in there, blacked out interior. It's an overall great looking Mazda Miata MX-5. La Troca from the HW Art Cars series. And you can see all the beautiful artwork on this one right here. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it's all about. Ooh, lots of gold on this one. We actually didn't really notice while it was inside, but you can see, look at the gold base on that. That's very, very cool. We got the gold wheels on there as well. And I guess the paint on there, it's kind of like a little bit, not like a shiny gold, but it is gold as well. We got the Art Cars logo link right there on the side. There's that big chrome gold grill on the front, and you can see all the artwork that just kind of shines through on the hood. Very, very nicely done. The H on the top of it to spell out Hot Wheels with the other Art car series not much on the back as far as stamping or tempo work goes or anything like that and oh man that gold base looks really really cool for la troca 1994 bugatti eb 110 ss from the hw exotic series ss stands for super sport and that was like the limited edition variations of the Bugatti EB110. Really, really like it in this blue color. I hope they release it in silver as well because silver is kind of the color for this car as well as that blue. But let's go ahead and pop this one open. An interesting story, way back when these cars first released, I went to the auto show and there was a silver one of these sitting at the auto show, brand new, and it was like half a million dollars, but just a crazy looking car, quad turbo V16. I think it is V or W16, something like that. But it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I really, really like the car. I like the design of the car. Love all the slots and grill pieces like that. That spoiler looks really good on it. This blue color though does look great. I love these chrome 10 spoke wheels as well. And we can see from the front end, just a crazy looking. And it's so exciting to get new Bugattis to the Hot Wheels lineup. So I'm definitely interested to see what they come out with as far as premium goes for these cars. And we'll definitely have to do a comparison between some 
other Bugattis right back there. So in the future, stay tuned for that one. Until then, love the Bugatti EB110 Super Sport. Ain't fair from the HW Metro series. And you can see this one right here. It's a bus. It's got the bike on the front of it. Let's go ahead and pop it open. And it does look really, really neat. It says uh, HW Destination Center. I don't know. Maybe I'm just guessing that's what it is. Hot Wheels Destination Center, something like that. But there it is right here. It looks like an orange color for this one. We've got the gold wheels on there and we can see from the front end, there it is holding that bike. It just looks like a standard Metro bus right here. And we've got the, the chrome, the big engine on the back right there. It looks like, like the air conditioning and fan unit on the top of it right there. And if we look kind of inside, it's chromed on the inside. It's really hard to see because they're like really tinted windows on this one. And it says HW Metro from the side right there, but ain't fair. It's a really interesting casting to come to the Hot Wheels lineup. 52 Chevy from HW Flames series, and there it is, nicely flamed out. And we'll go ahead and take a nice close up look at this one right here. And it's a matte finish paint job, kind of like that similar matte gray to the Mazda that we looked at earlier. Actually, it's a way different of a color, but it's got that same feel to it though. So very, very interesting. It's kind of made to look like it's kind of like a rustic design. That's what a lot of these old like hot rod style trucks do and the stuff, the hot rod cars and stuff there, they're made to look kind of old and rustic, which I think it kind of fits these old cars right here. Got the big chrome on there and chrome on the base of it as well. Very, very shiny. Not much as far as stamping or anything on the back goes or the front for any of the lights. They saved it for all of those big flames on this 52 Chevy. Next up from the Fast Foodie series, we have got the Isle Driver. New color variation of Isle Driver. Let's go ahead and pop it open right here. And I've always liked this cast, and it's really funny. I mean, you, you, you know what it is. It's just a shopping cart, and then it's got the little dude guy right here. And this little dude guy, if you actually put him on right here and you snap him on, he can just go floop, boop, Boop, he can go all the way up and down and do whatever or stunts or he can even go, here we'll flip him even that way, we'll go this way as well and so he can stand that way right there. Uh, we got the blacked out wheel with the white lip on there, it says Isle Driver on it and it's just got the, the fully through right here. You can actually put little Lego guys and stuff in here as well. There's that base, it's a very small stance to this one right here and I don't know if this is supposed to be like an imitation engine or something like that. I don't know where the engine would be on the Isle Driver but let's go ahead here, we'll put the little guy in there and he can just kind of roll away. Bye bye Isle Driver. Porsche 914 Safari from HW Exotics. Brand new color variation in white. We saw this one, I believe we saw this one in yellow as our first release and then there's, I don't know if there was another color in between, I can't remember exactly, but we've got the white color release of this one. Blacked out wheels on this one with the chrome lip on there. It says 21 with the Porsche on the side. 21, I don't know if it means for the 21 release, I don't think so. But we got the nice push bar on the front end. This is like that protector piece right here because it's made for off-road so when it bounces, it can bounce kind of over stuff right there. And then we've got the nice wheel tire combination spare in there. You can see the roll bar for that one. We've got like the roof rack style thing so it can hold its extra gas tank or any supplies like that when it's going through its rally. But I really like this car. Definitely a cool, interesting Porsche to the Hot Wheels lineup. And last but not least, an interesting Hot Wheels. It is the Ducati Scrambler Hot Wheels edition from the Baja Blazers. We've got a new color variation of this one. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice look at this one. And you can see this one, it's like kind of like an army color. And then it's got that weird like shark guy on here. So we've seen this one on a lot of cars that kind of like shark stamping. I'm not too sure the significance of it. I think it's actually, now that I think of it, I, I remember seeing it on like airplanes back in like the, the World War One and Two. I think like that, they had like those airplane style, like the stamping on there. So I'm not sure exactly, but if you guys know, you can let me know in the comment section down below. It says Ducati right there. And then you can see that color of it, very army style bike for this one. And then the wheel tire combination, I mean, it's really weird how like these like wobble so much. So I don't know, like they're not like, you would think that they would be like locked in, but you can just see how much 
movement there is for these wheels and tires, which is really, really weird. Uh, it's got it's got a good amount of weight for it for being a motorbike because it's uh, mainly a metal body right here. But nonetheless, what do you guys think? What do you think of the Ducati motorbikes coming to the Hot Wheels lineup? In the comment section down below, let me know which was your favorite Hot Wheels car that I opened up today. Don't forget to hit that like button, follow and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peak Timers, Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and unbox 30 Hot Wheels, including some Bugattis, Lamborghinis, McLarens, and some other amazing cars. And we'll start it off with this Hot Wheels 10 pack, which includes quite a few exotics and really good cars in it. Let's go ahead and just rip it right open and unbox it. And our first car that we'll take out from the top of the package right here is a Lamborghini Gallardo in red. Very, very shiny looking color. Really like these gray wheels on it. Nice looking back end with the Lamborghini logo, the Lamborghini Gallardo. Next up, we do have a Dodge Viper. Really like these wheels. They look fantastic on this car. It's staggered bigger ones in the rear, smaller ones in the front. We've got that nice stripe down there. It's black and silver with the striping, aggressive, front end on this Dodge Viper. Not much as far as tempo work goes on the back, but still really, really nice looking. And our other one that we have right here is this one right here, which I think it's solar something. I can't remember. Formula Solar. There we go. So Formula Solar, solar a fantasy car in there. Look at the design on this one. What is that? I don't even know. It looks like, like leaves or something on there. I have not seen this one before. So very, very interesting. Then we've got Shark Cruiser right here. Classic casting. Another recolor of that one. We've got some interesting design on there. Look at that. That is really neat. I love the wheel tire combination on these ones. The blue looks fantastic. We've got that big engine on the back just sticking right out right there. Look at that aggressive look of Shark Cruiser. Then we've got a McLaren P1. I love the P1. You guys know how much I absolutely love this casting. I've got every single color that Hot Wheels has ever made in this casting. So I do have this one already, but this is definitely a great one to add to the collection. We've got race mode with the spoiler sticking out on this McLaren P1. And next we do have the Corvette C-A-R in yellow. Check this one out, blacked out wheels on this one. Love the striping on the top of it, the Corvette logo on the top, the big rear wing on there, the big rear diffuser, the front lip on this one. It's a great looking casting. Can't wait to see when the road car comes into a Hot Wheels format. We've already got it on Matchbox and road car variation, but great looking casting as a C-A-R. And next we do have the Formula E Gen 2 car in gold. We've got this one in several different colors. This one in gold, which actually I was watching a Formula E race recently and I saw this exact car in there. So it's made right after the actual Formula E cars in real life. So all electric race car. It is the future of racing the Formula E electric race car. And we've got the Ford GT race. 2016 Ford GT race, a Le Mans winning car, the Borla edition on there, gray wheels on here, big rear diffuser, big rear wing on this one. We look at the front end, great looking stripes, the number 78 on there. Just look at that front lip. It looks kind of like bent a little bit here, so maybe that's a little bit of a mistake in the casting, but nonetheless, a great looking car. Love this one in Hot Wheels format. Lots of different color variations of this one as well. We'll put that one aside. Then we've got the Nissan 370Z. This one in a black color on there. These wheels, I'm not a huge fan of. I like to see these wheels maybe totally blacked out. It looks a little bit dirty when they're not like, they're kind of half and half on there. But this car is a very, very glossy black. We've got the Hot Wheels logo on the sides. It comes some sort of striping down below, which is kind of neat. Not much as far as uh, stamping or tempo work. Oh, we do have the 370Z logo and the Nissan logo. That's not too bad. We got the rear exhaust on this one as well and the front end. Very clean, shiny looking in that gloss black. Nissan 370Z and then our special car from this pack which comes in the top corner right here it's kind of the exclusive car for this set is the Lamborghini Aventador J in this nice candy apple red color chrome five-star wheels on there the staggered wheels on there and there's that open cockpit of the Lamborghini Aventador J we got the Lambo logo up front we got the nice stamping on the lights and on the rear we've got that nice spoiler right there just an all-around fantastic looking Lamborghini. Love to see all the color variations coming out 
in this one. And next up, we'll switch it up to some singles, including this 2016 Bugatti Chiron in black from the Factory Fresh series, car number seven of 10. And this was our second color release variation of the Bugatti Chiron in this kind of sparkly black color with that lip that goes around right there. Nice looking wheel tire combination. On the front, we've got that horseshoe grill with the Bugatti logo, those lights coming through. And on the back end, just very aggressive looking for the Bugatti Chiron. Next Next up, we do have a Pagani Waira Roadster in green. Great looking casting. We'll open this one up, get a nice close up look at this one. And there it is. Gray 10 spoke wheels on here. There's that open top Roadster. We've got the black interior on there. We got a nice stripe that goes right down the middle. Those lights look really good at the front and from the side, just a fantastic looking casting overall. Really, really like this one. Next, we do have the Camaro. We've got the 90, 19, 85 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z. This one in a nice candy apple red color with gold wheels from the Muscle Mania series. We'll open this one up, get a nice look at that. Check out those gold wheels. Don't those look amazing? Very, very glossy on here. And look at that big wide stripe that goes down the center on there. Classic for the IROC Z in the front right there. And on the back, we don't have a lot, just kind of that like 80s style grill on this Camaro IROC Z. And next up, we have the Mod Rod. Check it out. Hot Wheels flame series mod rod and this is a cool cool casting i love all the color variations that we're getting of the mod rod this one's got the flamed paint job on there we've got the blacked out wheels with the colored lip which look really really cool chrome engine bay chrome interior just so much chrome so much color on this one the mod rod's a great looking casting next we do have the cool combi cool combi hello kitty edition how crazy is that one let's go ahead and open up the cool combi and this one yes hello kitty inspired so if you collect hello kitty stuff this is a cool one to get get your hands on i mean it's a cool looking casting the little volkswagen cool combi we got the wheelie bar on here because this is a drag car version and there is the hello kitty on the top oh my gosh i cannot believe they combined hello kitty and hot wheels but there we have the cool combi we'll switch it back to some more singles here we've got the bmw m3 gt2 in red from the hot wheels race day series let's go ahead and open this one up get a nice look at that one check out that glossy red color the blacked out wheels these are kind of these like 80s styles wheels i'm not a big fan of these on the bmw but nonetheless that big rear wing makes you kind of forget it because it's so cool looking check out all the colors and stripings and stuff on the side looks like a german flag i mean it is a german car so there we have that bmw m3 gt2 very very cool looking hot wheels car and next we do have the lancia delta integrale in the white with the white wheels you guys know how much i love white with white wheels i think it looks so cool in the hot wheels format someday like i said in real life i will own a car with white wheels i don't know what it would be but hey we've got the lancia right here not much stamping or anything on the back because they've saved it all for the side check out all the colors the michelin all that good stuff on the side right there and on the front end so much detail such a cool look for this car just check out all the lights and the the, the fog lights and all that good stuff on there these white wheels oh i just love this casting so much all right We'll put that aside. Next, we do have the 69 Copo Camaro. Check this one out. Falcon Tire Edition. And this one is part of the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. We'll go ahead and pop that one open. You can see how that color just kind of blends from the front right back to the rear. We've got staggered wheels on there, bigger ones on the rear, smaller ones on the front. Falcon right there for the Falcon tires right there. And then we've got a couple of different sponsors and stuff on the front end. Blue on the front with that color blend all the way to the back, all blue on the rear end as well. Very cool looking Camaro. Then next up, we do have the Ford G. GT 2017 Ford GT from the then and now series. We'll go ahead and pop this one open. And this one obviously has a then variation. This is the now variation, but the Ford GT, just check out the colors on this one. We've got the white number four Hot Wheels logo on the side. We've got the gray wheels on there. There's that stripe that goes right from the front all the way down to the center. Just great looking, absolutely fantastic looking Hot Wheels car. I love the 2017 Ford GT. It's too bad it wasn't faster down our Hot Wheels track. All these Ford GT 
these are quite slow down the peak time racing track but nonetheless it's a great looking car to race and our last single car to open up is our factory fresh series 2017 lamborghini rs and there it is in that blue color we'll go ahead and pop it open and there is those wheels again you guys heard me before i'm not a big fan of these wheels i would have preferred them to be all black but nonetheless they do look like they're oversized which kind of fits the lamborghini years very very nicely there's all that detail on the front end i love the lights love the grill and all that stuff on the rear end we've got the Urus badging the Lamborghini badging the lights are all kind of blended in right there it's a very fast car down our track so it's exciting to see more of these ones opened up and being raced and we'll switch it over to a Hot Wheels 5-pack. We've got the HW Legends 5-pack, Hot Wheels Legends 5-pack. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see all of the cars that are included. And we'll start it off right at the top right here. Looks like we've got the custom Ford Mustang. Now, I'm not too sure how this is a Hot Wheels Legends car. I guess it is one of the cars that races in some of the Hot Wheels games and stuff like that. It's got this weird thing on the back. We've got the gold wheel on the rear as well as the front one in gray. We've got some cool-looking off-center striping on the top that painted uh, hood right there it's in a satin black color but nonetheless it's it's kind of a neat looking hot wheels car we'll put that one aside next we have the baja truck there we go with the nice looking 50th anniversary hot wheels logo just right on the side right there you can see that 50 right there and this one is just ready to race ready to go off-road just check out those aggressive fender flares on there that just really really flare up and they look like fins on the front end of that one right there on the back end you can see very nicely we've got this little rack right there to hold maybe a tire to cover the engine of whatnot on there big oversized wheel tire combination on there big fins on the back of this one as well and our next car we do have the bone shaker a very classic hot wheels car we've got some sort of skull guy on the side it says bone shaker hot wheels and of course the classic bone shaker with the skull guy on the front end right there this is a weird matte finish color on this one not too sure i'm a big fan of the color like the wheels though blacked out wheels with the white lip on there look really really good and our next car we do have is the rip rod rip rod hot wheels edition right there the hot wheels on the side of it we've got some really cool looking blacked out wheels with a red chrome lip on there it's kind of a satin black finish to this plastic body on there so it's a little bit lighter feeling not much detail on the front and go to the back right there we see the exhaust sticking out and we have the little open area right there with the roll bars on the inside of it and we'll go on to the last car of our five pack right here and we've got the hot wheels twin mill very classic hot wheels casting twin mill because it does have two motors on there one here one right here and they have made this one into a car in real life i've seen it it looks absolutely crazy fantastic absolutely awesome kind of looks like almost corvette-ish from the front end there but then you see these big engines you're like well that is crazy loving the twin mill and the last pack that we're opening up today is the HW Exotics, Hot Wheels Exotics 5 pack. Some great looking exotic cars in this one, including that Bugatti Chiron, which is gonna be the first car that we take a look at. So let's go ahead and just rip open this package right here. There we go, we'll throw it aside and we'll put that aside. We'll grab our Bugatti and there it is. The blue Bugatti Chiron with the white wheels on here. Wow, what a crazy looking car. You can see the horseshoe grill on this one. No painted headlights on there, which the other one that we did see, which I have right here, you can see, it looks like they're slightly painted on the inside. So a little bit more detail on the mainline variation compared to the five pack variation. But this blue color, I love it. I think it looks great on the Bugatti Chiron with the white wheels. And our next car in this pack, we've got the Aston Martin. And I think this is a V8 Vantage. It is the V8 Vantage. There we go. So Aston Martin V8 Vantage, got the nice green, British racing green. We've got the nice striping down the middle of there. And these wheels, I think are very fitting, nice 10 spoke classy looking chrome wheels for this Aston Martin. Not much detail on the back end right there. Good detail on the front, those painted headlights, the classic Aston Martin grill on this one. And our next car, we do have the Lamborghini Veneno. Check that one out. Wow, what an absolutely fantastic looking color. Love the blacked out wheels on there with the white lip on them. We look at the front end look at all the slots and the stripe the lamborghini logo on there it's just one of the craziest most exotic looking cars of all time big rear spoiler on there just check out that side profile one of a classic design lamborghinis very very exotic looking and then we've got the lotus esprit twin turbo white on white white 
car white wheels and these are kind of these mesh style wheels on there they're staggered we've got the bigger ones on the rear smaller ones on the front and then we go down and we've got that stripe that's off centered and it's kind of highlighted by a little stripe we've got the lotus logo just right out the front right there and we can see it's got the pop-up headlights on the car so we're not going to see any painted headlights or anything like that i just love the look of this car and even the rear wing i love that kind of circled turn rear wing that kind of just sticks right out from the side right there just a great looking car really really like these lotus cars and our last car that we're going to take a look at right today is our jaguar f type project 7 check this one out we got great looking painted lights on the front end the project 7 striping on there and then on the side that's the project 7 circle right there now i don't know the exact story behind the circle behind the project 7s having it there but maybe they need a number or something like that i'm not too sure but we got the gray wheels on this one the big rear wing we don't have as much as far as stamping or tempo work on the back right there or i guess they are kind of painted it just kind of blends in black interior on this one but a great looking car guys comment down below which car we opened up today was your favorite and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye, -bye. what's up peak timers phil here from peak time racing today we've got the hot wheels rewards cars mystery box i found this in a toys r us yes toys r us still does exist up here in canada and i have no idea what this is from the looks of it we do have 10 hot wheels cars included within this box so we're gonna go ahead open this up together and we're gonna figure out what's inside of this hot wheels mystery box here we're gonna go ahead and just take open the little plastic piece right here. This is an official Hot Wheels box, so it's officially done by Mattel and Hot Wheels, and it was in Toys R Us in Canada. So we open it up first, and we do have quite a few mystery Hot Wheels cars in there. We've got some sort of paperwork here. We'll take that out, and it looks like we've got cars numbered one through 10, and we can write them down, I guess. Okay, and we've got just a bunch of mystery Hot Wheels cars in here. So let's go ahead and open them up one by one. We'll put the box aside right there, and we've got this right here. So it's got some sort of writing on here, not in English for some reason. Let's go ahead and pop open and see what our first car is. We'll have to rip it open as much as I can here. There we go. And our first one, there we go. What is this one exactly? I can't remember the exact name of it. Cyber Speeder. We've got Cyber Speeder as our first mystery car within this packaging. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what the numbering and stuff means on where I put it. I don't know, what number would you give Cyber Speeder from one to 10? You guys let me know in the comment section down below. All right, we'll move on to our next one. We'll put Cyber Speeder down, we'll grab another one inside of here there we go and let's go ahead and pop this one open here come on get open oh oh some of them are just not going to open up for me here here we go all right there we go that one opened up easier from that side oh okay so we do have some sort of packaging here actually now that i look at this inside of here there was something that i missed inside of this one as well so some sort of gold piece right here it looks like we put it on the sticker board right here so i'm not too sure exactly where it would go I, I think we'll just leave the sticker part right here i don't really care about that part i mean there it is gold sticker okay cool what car do we have in here Ooh, look at this one this one is i can't remember the exact name S street creeper there we go i should know these ones i feel like i i would remember these ones here street creeper we've got as our second mystery car right here and I'm not, i don't know if these ones are exactly the mainline colors as well i think the cyber speeder one i think i have seen this one as a mainline before but we'll leave it at that all right let's go into our next one right here and we've got another packaging right here let's see if i can get this one open up easily here come on open up for me i should just be cutting these that would be a lot easier there we go it always opens up the opposite side that i want all right we'll take that stuff out and shark cruiser there we go we've got shark cruiser in on this one right here very very nice shark cruiser and then we've got another one of these mystery card things we'll actually put these all in a pile here and maybe at the end we'll figure out what exactly it is we'll go ahead and grab this one right here nice looking one all right let's go ahead oh that one opened up easily and what do we have inside of here another gold piece Ooh, this is another one of the spider type ones what is this one called uh speed spider there we go speed spider inside of this one looks like it's got glow in the dark wheels on there 
Interesting. All right, we'll put him down. That's four, so we've still got six cars left to open up here. wonder if there'll be any uh, licensed cars inside of these mystery cars. What is this one right here? Here we go, we'll take that piece out, put that in, and there we have another fantasy car. I don't know which this one is. This one is quick and sick, or quick and slick maybe. Some, some sort of sports car right there with the nice glass bubble roof on there, blacked out wheels with the white lip on it. All right, put him aside. Next one we've got, we'll open this one up. Come on, get out. There we go, another one of these things right here. And this one is a Project Speeder. Project Speeder in black with the chrome engine and the chrome interior on there. All right, all right, Project oh, oh, it wouldn't be a video if I didn't drop a car. All right, we'll open up our next one right here. I think we've still got like four, three or four more left here. We'll open this one up and see what we have inside of here. There's another one of those gold pieces right there, the gold stickers right here. And this one is the, I can't remember the exact name of this one. I should know this one, but there we go. If you guys know the name of this one, comment down below which one this one is. It looks like an old hot rod, an old 30s hot rod style car right there. I think it's another Hot Wheels Fantasy car though. And we've got, we've got three more cars left. All right, let's go ahead and pop them open here. And, Oh, this is one of the indie race cars. Oh, this one has two in it. I don't know if that's a mistake. We have two little pieces right here inside of this one. So I'm not too sure the significance of that. They all look to be the same sticker. So I don't really understand what it's for or what you do with it. But uh, this one is called, what is this one called? Uh, this one I can't remember, it doesn't say the name on it. Uh, Formula Flashback, there we go. I got it. Formula Flashback right there flashback to the old Formula One cars. There is Formula Flashback. All right, we'll put him aside. Two more left here. Open that up. And which, there we go. Another gold piece inside of that one. We'll put that one aside. And then we have got, ooh, I like this one. I like this one. Mock Speeder, there it is. Mock Speeder. Love it, love it. Mock Speeder is a really cool looking car. It looks like a futuristic Le Mans race car of some sort with the big wing on there. Cool looking wheels. Nice color on this one too. I really like the color on that one. Mock Speeder. All right, and our last one that we'll open up today in this crazy Hot Wheels Rewards Cars Mystery box here. All right, what do we have in here? Another gold piece, we'll put that aside. And this one is Monta Racer. Monta Racer. There we go, Monta Racer. Not bad, not bad, I like it. All right, so they all are Hot Wheels Fantasy cars. I'm gonna put a bunch of them in my hands right now so you guys can kind of see all the cars that we got. Can we just pile them all up here? Let's see, can we pile them all up? Boom, boom. Oh, oh, Shark Cruiser, put you on top there. Uh, Cyber Speeder there, Formula Flashback, and the one that I can't remember the exact name of right there. 10 Hot Wheels Fantasy Cars in this mystery box. Like I said, I got this in Toys R Us in Canada. That's the box of it right there, Hot Wheels Rewards Cars. And I, I guess you just kind of put the numbers down of all the cars and then you write them down. I'm not really sure. We got all these gold pieces right here that we can possibly just put on our little sheet right here. They all look to be the same though. I don't know, kind of cool, kind of flashy, but we'll leave it at that guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I will catch you guys on the next one. Timers, Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up over 15 brand new Hot Wheels, including this Lamborghini Huracan Liberty Walk Edition. And we'll start it off with a brand new recolor of the 2021 Ford Bronco. This time we've got it in this nice orange color. Let's go ahead and pop it on open from the Then and Now series, as you can see. And there is our nice new color Ford Bronco with a Bronco written on the side. Little Hot Wheels logo on the back right there. We go to the front end, you can see it does say Bronco on there and there's that nice glossy orange color. From 
From the side, we've got really nice big wheel tire combination. You can see how wide they are when you look from the front and the rear. We got that rear wheel tire combination. So an overall, really nice looking casting. And you know what? I still can't wait to see this one come out in white. You guys know what I mean. Next up, a new recolor of the Mad Manga from Hot Wheels Art Cars. Really cool looking casting with lots of different colors and stuff written on here. So let's go ahead and have a look. We've got some sort of crazy dude on the side of it. Cool looking wheel tire combination. I mean, this is just a, a, an absolute wacky looking car. So you can just see the crazy paint job on there, the crazy guy in the front, the W's on the top right there. And we've got the like kind of like blue trim base on there and the different tires uh, on there as well. Different colors big exhaust on the rear and that big lip spoiler it's just a crazy looking hot wheels car and we have a treasure hunt it's the treasure hunt from our hot wheels m case of 2021 the 1978 dodge little red express truck there it is and it's from the hw hot trucks number five of ten let's go ahead and open it up and when we open the casing right here i'll just see if i can open this nicely there you go so if you look on the back right there you can see the treasure hunt logo so that's one way to tell that you've got a treasure hunt and also when you take out the car itself there is the treasure hunt logo just right on the back side right there and it should be on this side as well there we go we do have it on that side as well we got goodyear written on there we got these nice gold chrome wheels on there interesting color it's kind of like a greenish sparkle color on there there is your front right there with the kind of weird slit lines and stuff like that. It's called the Little Red Express truck, but hey, you know what? They do come in different colors from Hot Wheels as well. It's a neat looking truck. I do like this one and it's nice that they brought this in as a treasure hunt. And next we have the Nissan Silvia S13. We got a new recolor of this one, a glossy red with white wheels on there. This one's from the HWJ Imports series. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a nice look at this one right here. Very cool looking red color. I really do like this, super glossy. The white wheels, I don't know what it is. I just really like white wheels. I don't know, someday in real life, maybe I'll have a car with white wheels on there. I just think it looks cool. We look from the front, nice clean look on there. There's that just really, really gloss look to this red color right there, the nice little lip right there. You can see just the highlight of the wheel tire combination looks fantastic. Nice Nice looking tampa work on the rear end for those rear lights and stuff as well it's just an overall nice looking hot wheels car really really like this one and next up from hot wheels race day we've got the davensinator i'm not sure if i actually pronounce that right or not super chrome race car let's go ahead and pop it open and get a look at this fantasy car right here look at how big the rear tire wheel combination is compared to the front end right there we got this big spoiler on the back of it as well look at the chrome on on here so shiny in the lights we got that big uh, front lip on there we got the big diffuser on the back right there it's gloss on the bottom gloss black which is kind of interesting you don't see that very often you can't see in the interior because it's just all completely chromed out but it's a different looking fantasy car and all of the Honda Civic fanboys are gonna love this one we've got the 99 Honda Civic Type R EK9 from the HWJ import series white with white wheels and red interior. I actually do like the combination of color on this one. It's a pretty neat looking car, but there it is. Look at the white wheels. You guys know what I like about these white wheels. I said it already before in this video, and there we go. Good good looking detail on the back, the Honda, the, the Type R right there, the logo. We got the, the painted tail lights on there. We go to the front, nice stamped uh, headlights on there as well, the little Honda logo, and that red interior, the Type R. The red is like the color for Type R, so this looks great. The white with red color combination. I think it's a great looking Hot Wheels car. Even though I'm not a Honda Civic fan in real life, I think this one looks fantastic. And next from the Muscle Mania series, we've got the 1987 Buick Regal GNX and this one in red. I really like this casting. It's a super, super cool car in real life. The only thing is obviously in real life, the Buick Regal GNXs and Grand Nationals are black only. This one comes in red, but hey, we'll give it a pass because it's a cool looking car. Not much as far as stamping or tempo work on the back and on the front end, not much either. They've saved it for the side with the striping and all that. I'm not really sure exactly what that says there. It's really hard to hard to read if you guys can see that. There you go. But nonetheless, it's just an overall great looking car. Love it in real life. Happy to see it in the Hot Wheels main lines. Grand Cross from Track Stars. We've got a new color of this one in white. 
with all different types of striping and stuff on the side there. Uh, this one's made for the Hot Wheels track, obviously being a track star car. So it's got the uh, orange wheel tire combination, which matches the track. And you can kind of see, it almost looks like they put like the, the track on the side of it. So it looks like a track right there, the number four. We can see the interior with a nice open top roof. Kind of reminds me of like a Tesla Model Y with that big open roof right there. And the kind of look that it has almost looks kind of SUV type. But nonetheless, the Grand Cross has been around for probably a year or two now. It's been an interesting casting. Maybe not the, the favorite of most people, but still it's good to be in the Hot Wheels mainline. And one of our highlight cars from today, we've got from the HW Speed Graphics Series, the LB Works Lamborghini Huracan Coupe. Brand new casting to the Hot Wheels mainlines. And this one we did see like a regular Lamborghini Huracan and now we've got the Liberty Works or Liberty Walk edition of it. Mad Mike's as well. So that's one that they've done. But let's go ahead and pop this one open and see how the color is, see all the graphics and stuff on the side of this one here. So initially I thought it was maybe a matte finish but it's actually more of like a glossy like satin finish to it which is kind of cool. And you can see just the graphics and stuff on the side of it. It's made to look a little bit stealth-like We've got the Lamborghini, the Hot Wheels logo and stuff on there. The wheel tire combination, I think it's really cool. So these are like these, these kind of like uh, 80 style wheels. But then if you look in the back, we've got deep dish variations of them. That is super, super cool. So I really, really do like the touch on that. I don't think I've ever seen the deep dish versions of these wheels on any car before. We do have the nice big lip on the back of it for that Liberty Walk kit. And then we look on the front and there is that nice Liberty Walk kit on the front. You can see the super wide body when we look above. We got the Mad Mites logo on there. We've got the Lamborghini logo on the front as well. Very, very nice looking. I think overall as a design, it looks fantastic. And you know what? As much as the, the camo look and all that is kind of cool, I think this one in like a nice clean looking color would look super, super cool. Like imagine like a like a gloss red or a gloss blue color in this one. I think it would look fantastic. But I'm super happy to see this one come to our Hot Wheels main lines. I mean, it's interesting to see it in the main lines first. I'm sure we'll get a premium variation of it in the future. But what do you guys think of this Liberty Walk Lamborghini Hurricane? Con. Aston Martin 177 from the HW Rescue series. There it is sitting there nicely. And Aston Martin 177, one of 77 in real life. And we've seen several different color variations of this one in a Hot Wheels format. This one is supposedly to be, I think it's a, an ambulance. I could be wrong. I don't know if it, the color variation. Can you guys tell me also which country uses this color for the Aston Martin 177? I love the design of this car. I think it's one of the nicest looking Aston Martins ever. I just love the look of it. The kind of a long hood look and then these slats that are on the side and then the rear end. It's just an overall great design car. These gray wheels look really, really good on it. We look in the back right here. Not much as far as stamping or tempo work or anything. They've left it all for the sides for that color. I think it's like an ambulance, I would have to say. Maybe it's like some sort of fast car ambulance, but super, super cool looking casting. Nice to see a new recolor of it. 2017 Camaro ZL1. We've got a brand new color of this one from the then and now series. So we did have a then series car, an older, uh, I think it was a 69 Camaro, 69 or 67 Camaro that we had of this one before, but now we've got a recolor of this 2017 Camaro ZL1. Blacked out wheels, white lip on there. Really cool looking color. Love that that striping on there looks like super muscle car look. It's too bad though, maybe the striping would have been nicer if it continued down uh, fully to the front. I don't know about that, maybe. Uh, it does kind of look okay just at that cow hood area. From the side, it looks great. Love the glossy look of this one. No stamping temp work or anything like that on the back, but I think the wheels and tires and the way the color and paint looks, it's a great looking casting. 1998 Subaru Impreza 22B STI version from the HWJ Imports. And I've been a big fan of this casting ever since it came out, originally released in the blue with the gold wheels. Now we're getting a, a bunch of different recolors 
recolors of it. I, I still like the blue one with the gold wheels the best, but some of these recolors are actually really cool. This one looks super clean. It's kind of like an emerald green color with the gold wheels. I think it looks great. We've got great looking detail in the front, super clean looking from the front end right there as well. And there it is from that side profile look. We got that nice big rear spoiler on there. Very classic of these Subaru STIs. And we got the little exhaust right there. Uh, we got the painted uh, tail lights, the Hot Wheels logo for the lights and split. It's just an overall great looking car. And this color just really suits it. It really goes with it very well. It's just, uh, like I said, it's a clean looking Hot Wheels car. 71 Plymouth Road Runner from Muscle Mania, car number three of 10 right here. We got some nice striping on the side of it. Let's go ahead and open up this Plymouth Roadrunner. I wasn't a big fan of this model year of the Plymouth Roadrunner, uh, but I, I like the one with the big wing and stuff like that on there. But this one, still nonetheless, it looks very, very muscle car 70s look. Almost looks like a Mercury Cougar. I know you guys are probably all the muscle car fans are like, no, it doesn't. But hey, it kind of does look like an old Mercury Cougar as well. Uh, kind of an odd looking front grill and stuff right there. The striping looks really cool though. I like that. I like the, the different color striping on there, the different color striping that kind of continues on the side of it. The Plymouth logo on the back and we got that little kind of muscle car type lip spoiler on there. But overall, decent looking car, decent looking color and design. Just I'm not a big fan of the actual casting itself though. From the HW Drift, Series Formula Drift. We have the custom 2018 Ford Mustang GT in red. Different color wheel tire combination. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see what this one's all about. Check out the, the rear, like these are the tires that you destroy. Obviously being a drift car, you're just gonna just destroy the, the tires on that one there. So we got the different wheel tire combination on the front end, it says Formula Drift on the side, all the cool graphics and stuff, the different stuff on the front, FD for Formula Drift, that little lip on the front right there. I think it looks really, really cool. We could have used some maybe stamping on the back of it. It looks pretty plain, but they've saved that all for the side and the hood. And look at that big rear wing on there to keep that big tail planted when it's going around. The corners drift in a way, but what do you guys think of this custom 2018 Ford Mustang drift car? And last but not least from the HW Race Day series, we've got the Dodge Charger stock car. And this one's in the Hot Wheels logo, Hot Wheels Racing Team series. So let's go ahead and open this one up. We got the number three on the top of it, matte blue finish all mats finish on the side with the stamped big Hot Wheels logo which looks really really good aerodynamic wise from the front you can see it's nice and clean no really other stamping or anything like that on the bottom we've got there it's a nice base on here it's plastic so it's a little bit lighter feeling of a car and we got that lip spoiler on the rear end right there and it's all aerodynamic and stuff so it's kind of just regular on the back uh, kind of small wheel tire combination would have liked to maybe see a little bit bigger wheels on these but I mean you can even and see how it's kind of indented a little bit. We could use some wheel spacers, they would say, on a car like this. <laughs> but what do you guys think of this Dodge stock car? And there we have all of the cars that we opened up today. In the comment section down below, let me know which one was your favorite. And don't forget to hit that like button. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peak Timers, Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up a bunch of brand new Matchbox cars. And we'll start it off with some Matchbox moving parts cars. This first one is a 2020 BMW M4 Cabriolet. Nice looking color on this one. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Really odd looking packaging with the card kind of below here and up here. It's kind of weird how it has this middle thing right here. It doesn't really stand up or anything. It's right in the middle. So it's an interesting style of packaging that they use. We'll go ahead and pop open this car right here. And you can see this one with the moving parts, it's got the door just open right there. So we'll go ahead and shut that door right there for a second. We'll have a look at the car itself. So the car itself uh, looks to be just plastic all around, pretty standard, nothing particularly special about the actual build of the cars besides the fact that it just has the opening doors. I do like the exterior color with the nice interior. So it's kind of a nice offset. We got the, the darker outside the lighter inside there's that moving parts and there's the details on the front end of that right there nice bmw look i mean this is i think a lot better than the brand new bmws that have come out with that huge kidney stone grills on them they're they're kind of crazy looking not really for me but we do have 
nice looking wheels on this one and on the rear we've got some nice details on there and also does does it say matchbox right there i think it does say matchbox or something just right on the back right there but pretty nice just the doors that open on this one just an overall nice looking design and our next matchbox moving parts car is a 2018 land rover vogue se there we go right there. looks like a Range Rover. I don't know why they call it the Land Rover Vogue. I've never really heard of that. Might be just uh, maybe in a different area of the world they call this the Vogue. So you guys let me know in the comment section below. It looks to me just like a Range Rover. But let's go ahead and open this one up. This one does have the rear hatch that opens up. Uh, the trunk or the boot depending on where you are in the world. Uh, from the front end though. Great looking, nice front grille from the side. Great detail. And then we go to the back and there it is. That opens just right up right there. We've got, it even says Range Rover on the back. So I don't know why they call it something different. They do actually say that it's a Range Rover right there, but uh, I've always been a good fan of these. I think they're a nice looking SUV. They're not known to be the most reliable cars in real life, but as a design standpoint, I think they look excellent. Really, really cool. 2016 Chevrolet Camaro for our next moving parts car. We'll go ahead and pop this one open right here. And this one is different from the other ones. It does have the hood that opens up right here. So let's go ahead and look at the detail of that engine. Very, very nice. I like that. We can even open it up a little bit more so we can see more detail of that V8 sitting in there. There is the front end right there. We'll actually close the hood now and get a nice good profile of this car. We look at it from the side. We've seen this Camaro done before from Matchbox. They've had it as like the Matchbox main lines, but without the opening hood. And there it is, nice details on the back end, the exhaust, plastic base, of course, typical of Matchbox, but all around pretty cool. We'll go ahead and pop open that hood again. There we go, we'll just slap it open just like that. And you can see from the side profile how much it does open up, but very nice moving parts Matchbox Camaro. 1963 Chevy C10 pickup truck. This one also with the hood that opens up on here. Let's go ahead and get a close look at this one right here. We'll see that big hood that opens up on this one right here. I closed it when I took it out, but we'll go ahead and look around the truck first. Nice looking, kind of a bronzy color to it. You have the big grill on the front end, big hood, really thick looking hood on there. We look from the side, it's got the classic wheels on there. And if we look at the top, we can see a nice bed on the inside and on the rear end just says Chevrolet. Let's go ahead and pop that hood. And we'll see that's that's about as much as it goes. It actually doesn't stay open. Okay, so that's interesting. If we force it open of any sort, no, it doesn't stay open at all. So we do have to look at it from the inside. Not as detailed on the inside as the Camaro was. It's kind of just a plastic piece, single plastic piece that's put in there, no painting or anything like that. So a little bit disappointing as far as the detail goes, but from the outside, it actually looks like a really nice looking truck. Matchbox super fast Mercedes G63 AMG 6x6. This is my all-time favorite Matchbox car ever. The casting of this one, I've got uh, lots of different colors of this one in Matchbox format, and there we have it right there. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. This is actually the only one that they have that has real rider wheel tire combination on here. So we'll go ahead and pop it open. It does come with the classic Matchbox box. This is just a empty box, so we'll go ahead and throw that aside. And if we look at the six by six right here, you can see from the side, the six wheel tire combination. I love this car in real life. It's my one of my favorite cars in real life as well. And these are the real riders on here. So as all the other ones that do come in plastic, we actually have another one to open up today, which will have the plastic wheel tire combination, but just a fantastic looking car, an absolute beast of a vehicle. I absolutely love this one. I know I've said it before, but it's just great. It's an excellent looking casting. I was so happy that this one came as a matchbox. And we'll move on over to a matchbox five pack. This is an MBX airport five pack, and it's got a Lamborghini in it? Very crazy, okay. Not really understanding why a Lamborghini would be at an airport, but we're gonna go ahead and just rip this completely open right here. And then we'll just pull the cars out and we'll start it off with that Lamborghini right here on the top and there we have it. Look at the graphics and stuff on the side of this one. This is a Lamborghini Gallardo police car. We've got the nice blacked out wheels on there. 
guess it patrols all the speeding cars at the airport. I don't know why you need a Lamborghini to chase cars at the airport. I guess if cars or anyone got onto the actual airstrip, you need a fast car to chase them down. So here it is. Here's the, the fast Lamborghini Gallardo that chases it down. You can see all the graphics and stuff that says on the side right there. Nice looking front end. The lights on the top right there, but an excellent looking Lamborghini. Our next car from this five pack is perhaps what I think one of the worst cars ever made. I am not a fan of this car at all in real life. It is the Toyota Prius, the most boring car ever made, but I get why it's made. It's, it's definitely uh, made to save gas, get people from point A to point B, but it's so ugly looking. I just, I, I just don't like it at all. But this one, it looks to be a ride share one. So perhaps like an Uber of some sort. It's got the Matchbox M on the side of it, gold wheels. Very, very ugly. Never buy a Prius in real life, unless you just don't care about cars at all. But there we have it in Matchbox format, the Toyota Prius. Car number three from this five pack, we've got a transportation bus, and this one is called the Swift Shuttle. So it definitely shuttles people from point A to point B within the airport to get to their plane, or perhaps maybe from the parkade from their car all the way to the front of the airport so they can check in. But uh, pretty neat looking, cool casting. We've got the airport logo on the side of it, Matchbox, and you can see the nice big bus engine in the back right there. And on the bottom, nice color to this one, but it's an all around, just a pretty normal looking bus that does transportation at the airports. And all of those big airplanes need some gas or petrol to transport them. So this one says airport gas tanker, and this one is called the petrol pumper right here. So it is a big truck and it transports all that fuel to the airplane. We've got the ladder on the back right there, the big fuel tank just on the top and just carries this one around, but it's an all around, just a good looking casting, nothing special about it and it's made to do its job and it probably does its job pretty well. And car number five of five from this Matchbox five pack, we've got the Runway Wrangler. And this one, it looks to be one of those carts that uh, probably carries luggage, transports luggage. I guess all the luggage and stuff would be in here and they, they would uh, place it right into the airplane itself. Got big oversized tires on there. And this thing probably has a super strong engine so it can definitely carry all that weight and all of that luggage. But it's kind of an interesting looking casting. It's kind of cool, it's kind of flat. It, it's, it's definitely not made to look good. It's made to function and it does that well. And next up, we've got a bunch of cars to open up from a Germany set. And we'll start it off with the Mercedes G63 AMG 6x6. I did say I have another one of these to open in the video. This is it right here. This one should have the plastic wheel and tire combination. So maybe we'll do a small little comparison. This says car number 12 of 12, and it doesn't have the full list of them on the back, but I do have several of them here to show you, not the complete set, but we do have the best ones from this set. So let's go ahead and pop open this G63 AMG 6x6. This looks very similar to the initial released one that came out just a long time ago when they released, released this casting. I do have it, so I'll have to put a side-by-side -side comparison of that one, but you can see the plastic wheel tire combination on here. And if we grab the other one, we have a little bit more of a comparison. I really like this one. I just like the color better on it. And I like the look of the real riders on there, but Overall, this casting is the best. This is, it's just gotta be, even if you include Hot Wheels and all that, it's probably one of my favorite castings ever made in a one in 64 scale model casting. But there we have it. Another color variation of the Mercedes G63 AMG 6x6. Audi RS6 Avant, also from the same Germany set. You can see the nice graphics on there. Let's go ahead and open the RS6 Avant. I wish these cars were more popular in North America. They're slowly starting to get to North America, um, but the RS6 and the RS4, RS2 Avant cars are so cool looking, so fast, very well engineered from Audi. Just an excellent looking car all around. You can see that hatchback on there. So super functional, got lots of space and then extremely fast of a car. You don't wanna mess with these. If you see one of these on the road, you might think, ah, we could beat this RS6. Well, unless you have like a 
Tesla Model S Plaid Edition, I wouldn't touch one of these because they are very, very fast cars in real life. BMW i8, a very cool super car. We'll go ahead and pop this one open from the same Germany set, of course. This one's got an extra piece of plastic on the back of it here. We'll take that away and we'll have a look at the car itself. And there is an, I think it's an opening parts or a super fast uh, set that has the same BMW i8, but with the doors that open up. I think I do have that one as well in my collection. But uh, the i8, I think it's a really cool looking car. I think it's definitely, uh, doesn't get as much praise in real life as I think it deserves because it's very well made, very well engineered. It's cool looking. It's got the nice butterfly scissor doors on there. It's just an all around great looking car. Very efficient of a car, very fast. Um, very high tech. I really do like the BMW i8 in this matchbox format. Porsche 911 GT3 in red. There it is, very, very nice. Let's go ahead and open up the 911 GT3. Get a nice close up look at this one right here. You can see this one in its glossy red format. Nice looking wheels on there. Good looking front end on this one. Very, very clean looking of a car. Very glossy, shiny Porsche 911. An excellent addition to this Germany set. Mercedes-Benz Unimog U300. Quite an ugly looking thing from the front end. Let's go ahead and see how ugly it looks in its matchbox format. Go ahead and take a look. All right, maybe it doesn't look as ugly. I mean, it's still pretty ugly of a car, but this is made to be a truck. It's definitely not made to look pretty. It's made for function. And this color, this is one of those, that new kind of grayish blue color that's becoming very mainstream with uh, cars in casting format as well as in real life. I like the color, the car, kind of ugly, but functional. And one of the best cars in this set, the 2006 Audi R8. There it is, one of the original editions of the Audi R8 and it's become very popular now in real life with all the way up to nowadays. I mean, it's hard to believe that the R8 was out in 2006, but there we have it. It's got the classic fins on the side right there, blacked out wheels on this one. Nice detail on the front end says Audi R8 on there. If you look at it from back right there, just an excellent design of a car. And this one, I don't know if this one would be a V10 or a V8 variation of the R8, that's what they both come in, but uh, definitely an excellent looking car in Matchbox format. Super excited to get this one. And last but not least, we've got a Matchbox 9 pack. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see all the cool cars that we have inside. It does say there's an exclusive car in this one, which you can see on top. Do you know what it is? I will tell you here in a second. We'll grab that one first. It is the BMW i3. Another kind of ugly car, but it's a great little city car. And I've heard that these are actually super fun to drive in real life as well, but they're just, they're just so ugly. They're definitely, I mean, I wouldn't say it's as ugly as a Prius, but it's definitely up there as far as ugly cars go, but it is electric. And I think it does have a gas motor attached to it as well, if I'm not mistaken, can't remember exactly, but it's all around. It's made for function. It's made to be a city car, does its job very well. And next from this nine pack, we've got the Volkswagen Carmen Ghia, classic car right here. Nice looking green color on here, white interior. Not much detail as far as that interior goes. So, so white and bright on the inside of it. We've got some license plate stamping on the back end. Good detail on the rear end right there. And on the front end, you can see, ah, it's, it's kind of not really my style of car, even for an old classic car. Not a huge fan of this one, but not too bad looking. They've done a good job making it. Audi R8, we've got another R8. This one in a very cool looking kind of matte bronze color. Very nice looking color. You can see that detail on the front end. You can see how that grill is kind of like half painted as well. The lights look really nice. We look on the back end right there. Nice looking detail for this Audi R8. Just very, very cool. We'll actually grab the other R8. We can compare them side by side. So this one's super glossy and this one is matte with the bronze. Two very interesting colors for the R8s, but I'm a huge fan of this casting. Speaking of classic, can you get any more classic than a Volkswagen Beetle? One of the best-selling cars ever made. 
and I mean, it's just crazy. I don't even know if they still produce this. I've heard that uh, in possible some uh, areas of the world, they still produce the original Beetle. I'm not sure if that's true anymore, but such a classic look. I mean, if anyone, even if you don't know about cars, I feel like you know what a Volkswagen Beetle is. And here it is in the glossy red color, the Volkswagen Beetle from Matchbox. Next up, we've got a Subaru pickup truck. I'm not sure the exact name of this one right here. It is white. We've got blacked out wheels on there with kind of a little middle chrome, like looks like a bolt of some sort on the middle right there. Big bed on the back looking very clean on the rear end. It's a very clean looking car. I mean, it's just a classic pickup truck, probably comes from Japan. Well, obviously it would if it's Subaru and they're very popular over there. 1969 BMW 2002, one of the original BMWs, a nice blue color right here with the white interior on there. We can see from the rear end, we've got some I like stamping and stuff for the rear taillights as well as the rear license plate. We look on the front end right there. It's a very clean, nice looking grill. It's an overall great looking car. They've done a great job at it. Again, not, not one of my things, not a huge fan of these kind of basic looking classic cars, but there's a lot of people that really do like them. So for you guys, enjoy this one. Hummer H2 SUV concept in white. We've got a big roof on the top of it. I guess this would be like a sunroof of some sort that kind of comes off right there. And this one says construct text. I think something like that. Not too sure exactly what it means. Some sort of work truck that it is on the back. No license plate or anything like that. It does say actually it does say Hummer just right on the bottom right there. You can kind of see it in the lights right there. That's kind of interesting. Didn't really notice that. The grill black and basic grill. Not really an extreme amount of details on this car, but I was always a huge fan of the Hummers growing up. I think they're a great looking vehicle and it's cool that they're bringing them back in electric formats now. One of the coolest Lamborghinis ever made, the Lamborghini LM002, the original SUV. It's kind of SUV pickup style of a Lamborghini, but man, these are so cool. They came with a V12 in real life. You can see the details and stuff in the back. This is a very glossy black look on there. These wheels look totally like correct for this style of vehicle. We can see the nice aggressive front end. I'm not sure really, really what the purpose or history is behind the LM002. It's kind of a crazy big truck, but it's a Lamborghini. It's cool, I really like it, super, super nice. And our last car from our Matchbox 9 pack is the Chow Wagon. And this one looks to be a food truck and it's got the lobster cage on there. So this is a lobster food truck. You can see from the top, it's got some sort of see-through vents and stuff on there. Looks like this, this would open up or anything, but it does not. It's just all clean on the back. And we have an interesting colored on the front end right there. We'll actually see on this side, we get like different drinks and you can kind of see inside of it, crab cakes, lobster, all that good stuff on there. It's a very interesting casting in the Matchbox format, the Chow Wagon. In the comment section down below, let me know which was your favorite car that we opened up today. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe and follow and I'll catch you guys on the next What's one. What's up Peak Timers, Phil here from Peak Time Racing. I went on a Hot Wheels shopping spree and got a bunch of new Hot Wheels. Let's go ahead and open them up. And we'll start it off with a print Premium car, we've got a Hot Wheels Boulevard Premium Corvette Z06 Drag Racer. Very, very cool. And this one is from this set right here. So we do have another car from this set as well, which we'll open up in a second. But very, very cool. Found this one. Never even knew that there was a C, uh, what is it? C6 Z06 Drag Racer that existed. So let's go ahead and pop it open. And we'll get a nice close up look at this one right here. So we take off this backing right there. There we go. And very, very cool. Look at this one right here. Look at how it's got the big wheel tire combination in the rear. You can see right there that very, very nice. Look at the lip on this one as well. And it's got, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Some sort of like spike thing on the front. I have no idea what that is. That is kind of interesting. I guess it's made for aerodynamics or some sort. I'm not too sure exactly. Big engine on there and it does say Speed Society on there as well. If we look at it from this side, you can just see, wow, look at all the slots and everything for this car. Big 
ring on here. We've got the wheelie bar on there, some parachutes, uh, just an overall crazy looking car. And I, I would think that maybe it opens up, but no, I guess it doesn't. Oh, does this front end? This front end might come off here. Let's see if it does here. We'll pull it off. Can it, can it come off? It does, there we go guys. Okay, so we got the front end. That definitely comes off. And the back comes off too. Okay, wow, that is crazy. Does anything else come off? No, nothing else does come off. So you can completely take this car apart. That is crazy, I had no idea. But luckily we figured that one out right there and I guess that's something to align it right there and we'll go ahead and just throw it all back on together. But crazy car, wow, very, very detailed. Like that it comes apart. And another car from the same set, we've got the 87 Buick Regal GNX. Absolutely love these cars. One of my favorites in real life as well. This one's got a crazy looking kind of gray paint job. Um, if you're familiar with these cars in real life, you know that stock from the factory, they are all black but this one has like a gray style paint job on there with really cool looking wheels on there as well. And it's a very sparkle. You can see how that kind of sparkles in my lights right there. Good detail from the front end, very Buick Grand National-ish. And from the back end right there, you can see as well, the little, little GNX logo just right there as well. So some very, very nice detail. Such a cool looking car. We've seen lots of different uh, variations of this from the main line as well as premiums, other premiums. There's a Fast and Furious, I mean, if you watch a uh, Fast and Furious fourth movie, then you know that uh, the starting scene, they drove a GNX, but very, very cool looking premium car. And next we will open up some cars from the Forza Motorsports set. I have four of the five cars from the set, so unfortunately I am missing one, but I did buy the Ford that I did find. We've got first the Ford Shelby GT350, Forza Motorsports. We'll actually show you the back so you can see all the cars that we have on there. I won't tell you which one that I am missing until we open them all up right here. Let's go ahead and open up this Mustang right here. And the all the cars in this set are white and they've got some really cool graphics on there. So you can see just the really cool looking nice graphics on the side of this Mustang right there. No detail as far as stamping on the rear end right there. Nice gray wheels, they suit the car very nicely. We've got the stripe that just rolls right down the center of the Forza Motorsports just written right there on the front end, but a really nice looking Mustang. And another car we have from it, the 2015 Land Rover Defender Double Cab. We've seen lots of different color variations of this and I've been a big fan of this casting and it's nice to see this one in the Forza Motorsports set. So let's go ahead and pop this one open as well. And you can see, look at the graphics on that. Look very, very cool. And we look on the front end, we've got that push bar. It's a plastic front end, but still nicely detailed from the uh, top right there. I love all the striping and stuff like that. If I ever did a wrap on a car in real life, I would do something like that kind of like that crazy looking like edge camouflage i think it looks really really neat not much stamping on the rear end or anything like that but just an overall it's a great looking vehicle really love this car and next is the 2017 acura nsx and also white and this one's got some red graphics on there red and black one so let's go ahead and pop this one open and we can see this one right here and uh, all of these I didn't mention, I think they are like a matte finish white paint job on here. So you can see it's the matte finish on here. It doesn't really shine or anything, but it looks really good in the matte. And you can see the NSX logoing on the side right there, gray wheels on there as well. And the red striping and all that red stuff right there for is up from the front end. Very, very cool looking Acura NSX. And the last car that I got from this set is the 2017 Audi RS5 Avant. And unfortunately, I did not find the Porsche 934 Turbo RSR, but that's okay. I actually prefer all the other cars in the set over that Porsche anyways. So let's go ahead and pop open this 2017 Audi and we'll go ahead and take a look at all the graphics and stuff on the side of this one. And very, very cool again, the Forza logoing on the side, all the graphics and stuff, blacked out wheels with the chrome lip on there. And you can see that very, very cool looking front end with the Audi logo on there. We got the sunroof on the top. And then this one actually does have some good stamping on the rear end, which looks really, really neat. Just an overall great looking car. I do have this one in several different recolors. It's gonna be cool to put them all side by side. And next up, we've got some Mario cars. We've got the blue Yoshi. First time appearance, it does say. We haven't seen the Yoshi in blue. It says light blue Yoshi, just blue Yoshi to me. Doesn't look like a light blue, it's just blue Yoshi. But here we go, let's open them up. And Yoshi in the Mario series cars, 
is like a tow truck. So you can see him, it's got the little tow hook on him right here. I think this comes up, I guess it just kind of separates. It doesn't really come up or anything like that. But uh, we do have chrome on the base right there. We got the light blue wheels, or sorry, the light blue tires, the colored wheels on there. And there is Yoshi from the front end looking pretty cool. I do like these Mario cars. It's always nice to have lots of different ones of them. Also from the Mario series, we've got Bullet Bill. There we go, Bullet Bill. It's just a bullet car. There we go. Let's go ahead and pop open Bullet Bill. And we do see this one. Uh, I think this one was, we saw a lot of him in the first Super Mario World. Let's go ahead and open him up here. Here we go. We got him. We've got Bullet Bill. There we go. There's Bullet Bill. And you can see the eyes of Bullet Bill just sitting right there on the front. We got the white wheels. Uh, I just, I love how this is put together. It just looks really, really cool. We've got a little seat in there as well for whoever is driving him right here, but Bullet Bill looks pretty good. We got the nice chrome on the back right there. And it's interesting to see this wheel combination right there in chrome. I haven't seen that before, but there we go. There's Bullet Bill from the Super Mario series. Also from the Super Mario series, we have Princess Daisy, and we've got a new colored Princess Daisy car right here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Get a nice look at it right there. There we go, get out of here. Oh, there we go, Princess Daisy. Come on, let's see what you look like. There we go, so we've got interesting color for Princess Daisy. We did see this one, I believe, originally in white and pink, and now we've got this color with that chrome interior. That looks really, really cool. Like the wheel tire combination looks really good. Got some sort of like fins or something on the back. I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be right there, but Daisy Princess looking good in a new color for her little sports car. And next up, this one is a Corvette C6. You can see the nice C6 written on there. Really good artwork on this one. And if we look on the back, you can see all the different cars. There's some other cars and stuff mixed into this one as well, but uh, I've got a couple of Corvettes from it. We'll go ahead and pop open this C6. We've seen a lot of different color variations of a C6 in the Hot Wheels format. This is a convertible one as well. We got the nice striping down there. It's kind of hard to tell. What are these like goldish red stripes? It's hard to tell my lights what the color of the exact stripes are. Nice details for the tempo work on the front end right there from the side. We got the nice chrome wheels on there. Very gloss glossy black paint job and a nice convertible top right there. You can see the gray interior of this Corvette C6. 1955 Corvette as well included in this one. There it is, the 55 Corvette, the classic C1 Corvette. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice look at that one. And you can see, look at the wheel tire combination of this one. They look almost like they're meant to be for this car. They're period correct for sure. And this one does have some weight to it. It's definitely full metal body, full metal down below as well. So it does feel a little bit heavier than a normal car. And you can see that nice interior on there. This color, it's like, it's a very like a light yellowish color. It's kind of interesting, kind of weird. Not really my thing. I like like the pure yellow colors, but this definitely looks like, like a 50s, 60s style color on this Corvette C1. Also from the same series, we've got a 49 Merc right here. Let's go ahead and see what this one's all about. Love the color and graphics on this 49 Merc. You can see, look at the green color on here. Look at those, it almost looks like Hot Wheels art cars series and you can see that really nice white interior on there and just check it out from the outside as well it's a very cool looking classic the 49 mercury 64 lincoln continental convertible these cars are becoming very collectible in real life. A lot of collectors are getting into these old convertibles. It's kind of just one of those things that have gone up in price. And let's have a look at this one right here, Lincoln Continental, huge long car. It's a four door convertible by the looks of it. I think this might be the one with the suicide doors if I'm not mistaken. If you guys know that, let me know in the comments section down below. Check out that front grill on there. So chrome, got so much chrome on the bottom of this one as well. Not much as far as any stamping or anything goes on the back, but we do have some 
great looking color. Just look at the, the striping and all that for this one. I just, this thing just looks so cool. Really, really like this one. Excited to have this one in the collection. Another convertible, we've got the 67 Pontiac GTO. And again, continuing the theme of the amazing looking artwork on these ones, as you can see right there. Let's go ahead and open up this GTO. Get a nice look at this one. This is a nice red color on this one. Black striping on the front right there. Black interior on there. Very clean looking interior. From the side, you can see how we've got the GTO logo right there. And then we have this black striping that kind of comes out to kind of like a point just right there. Love the wheel tire combination on this one. Definitely a resto mod style car. Chrome bumper, all chrome on the bottom of this one as well. Just an all around great looking Hot Wheels car. And our last car that we're opening up today, also from the same series, we've got the 63 Ford Mustang convertible. Lots of convertibles in this series. Actually, all of them are convertible. So maybe this might be a convertible series. I'm not actually 100% sure. I didn't find the whole set but i really really do like it check out this mustang does the hood open nope they do make a variation of this one though that does have the opening hood so it's kind of interesting this one doesn't we got the white interior the white striping that goes down there look at from the front end you can see that nice grill with the mustang logo right in the middle right there chrome base chrome all the way around the back even chrome into those tail lights with the little logo on the back just an all-around great looking Ford Mustang. Lots of amazing cars that we opened up today, guys, in the comment section down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and follow, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peak Timers, Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up 15 brand new 2021 Hot Wheels. And we'll start it off with the 1987 Dodge D100. We've got a Hot Wheels Racing Team Edition, obviously from the HW Race Team Series. And this one's in a nice orange color. Normally we see it in blue, but now we've got the orange color here. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice look at this. And this one obviously has that like Baja look. So you've got that raised front end right there. We've got black wheel tire combination, kind of gray in the middle right there. And then we have the spare tire in the back with that little bars that come right down here. Nice glossy color for this one. Dodge D100. We've seen lots of different color variations as well as this one in a premium, but it's nice to see this one come in a different color for the Hot Wheels Racing Team Edition. Next up, we have the 1970 Chevy Camaro RS. We've got a brand new color of this one. We did recently see this one in an orange release, and this one is from the Then and Now series. So we do have a Now variation, which is, I believe, the Camaro ZL1, which we already got. And let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a nice look at this one. I like the striping that comes down the center of this one. Looks really good, and it got that big cowl hood opening just right there as well. There you can see it from the side a little bit. We've got the blacked out with the chrome lip on there, the 70 on the side. And then on the back, we have the lipped spoiler on this one. Very classic for this era of Camaro. But uh, overall, it's a great looking design. Kind of looks like a resto mod. So it's kind of like a modernized Camaro from the 1970. 2019 Ford Ranger Raptor from the HW Hot Truck Series. Brand new color variation of this one. We've seen several different colors of this one. I think we've had a blue, white, red. Now we've got green. I think there was another one or two in between as well but this green one looks really really nice i do like the look of it we can see that blacked out front ford grill right there with the black that continues down the hood we've got the green on the top with uh, i'm not sure exactly what these are supposed to be some sort of aerodynamics or something like that but on the side right there you can see that striping kind of continue out and then flare right back to the rear right here with the ford logo just sticking out on the back end we've just got not a huge amount of detail for this one but overall it's a great looking truck i really really like this casting since it's come out a couple years ago Go. And speaking of green cars, we've got another one. It is the 2017 Acura NSX from HW Turbo Series. Check this one out. Very bright green on this one. Let's go ahead and pop this one open right here. We can see the, the big chrome wheels on there. And then we can see that nice looking detail on the front end. And they did release a newer NSX now. Uh, I believe it's like a Type S or Type R version. And it's got a different front end. But nonetheless, I think the design of this car is very, very nice. We can see in the back great detail on that. And there's your engine that just kind of shines right through. And then there's got that black roof on the top right there. But just an overall, it's a great looking design for this Acura NSX. And I love this new color of it. Porsche 993 GT. 
GT2 from the HW Exotic series. We've got this one now released in white. We have several different uh, recolors of this one and it's just a really good looking casting. I think for a Porsche, it's just got the nice wide body look. You can see how the fenders kind of flare out on there. We can see on the front end, it's got a little bit of a scoop, got that off center black stripe right down there. And from the side, you can just see how clean this design is. Big spoiler on the back of it, smaller blacked out wheels with a chrome lip, but they look really, really good. And on the back, you can see that dual exhaust that kind of comes out from underneath. Just an overall great Great looking design for this 993 GT2. Sand Burner, brand new casting from HW Race Team. And this one, you can see right here, it's like a Baja off-road racing car. Obviously it's for the sand, it burns through the sand, the Sand Burner. And this is one of our last new for 2021 casting. So this one is gonna be, whoa, we're dropping it already. This one will be going up on our back board right here. It's gonna be replacing the car. You can kind of see just off screen, you actually can't see it. But there we go, we have the Sand Burner in that matte blue finish you can see on the top we've got the spare tire wheel combination and it's a it's got a blue outline on there that's kind of weird that the tire is kind of blue but then we can see we've got the blacked out wheel tire combination on here and it's a kind of a weird design i don't know what like if it's supposed to be like a car or an suv or some sort of thing but we got the big rear wing on there with the tri exhaust tips on there that's interesting don't see that very often and then on the front end we've got the lights that are showing through what do you guys think of this new casting the sand burner custom ford bronco that's right brand new color variation of the ford bronco from the then and now series we've got it in an orange color we did see this one i think before we had it in a blue now we've got this one right here and uh, further than and now obviously the now series is the new bronco and this is for the original bronco and the broncos are just becoming a lot more popular obviously because of the new release of them but a lot of resto mod broncos are being released and they're selling for crazy prices in real life but this one kind of looks like one of those ones it kind of looks like one of those resto mod ones this is a little bit more hardcore with like the roll bar and stuff like that the big push bar on the front with the lights lights on the top right there as well and then we've got some sort of graphics and stuff written just on the side pretty clean all around though what do you guys think of this ford bronco 1998 Honda Prelude from the HWJ Imports series, obviously a Japanese import, and this one in a nice red color with the white wheels on there. And you guys know I like the white wheels. I'm just a big fan of white wheels. I think they'll look really cool on Hot Wheels cars. I don't know if I'd ever have it in real life just because it would get super dirty really quickly, but nonetheless, I think they look really neat on cars. You can see we got the blacked out hood on this one, the sunroof right there, very glossy red color. On the back, we have some nice detail right there the Honda logo just right in the middle with the lights all stamped on there but it's a great looking design we have seen this one recolored several different times now but I'm a big fan of it I really do like the look of this car and I remember growing up when they were first released the preludes and they were super popular and they're still popular today 1994 Bugatti EB 110 SS SS is for super sport the fastest variation of this Bugatti from HW exotic series car number six of ten this is the first release of it. We did get one in our previous case as well, but hey, I gotta open up another one. I absolutely love this casting. I think it looks so cool. It's a Bugatti, of course. It's gonna be popular. Of course, you guys are gonna wanna collect it. You can see right from the front end right there. I'm sure we're gonna get this one in a white or a silver color as well, because that was one of the original colors for this one, but the blue, this Bugatti blue, looks fantastic as well. Like the stamping on the rear lights right there, that little spoiler that comes up and we can see the, the little design intakes that we have right there with that rear engine quad turbo charge for this one as well. Such a cool casting. What do you guys think of the release of this brand new Bugatti EB110 Super Sport? 1964 Nova Wagon Gasser from the HW Race Team. There we go. We've got the classic Hot Wheels Racing Team blue color for this gasser. Let's go ahead and pop it open. This one would be a race for the drag strip of it. Obviously, it's made to be kind of a drag car you can see that big chrome engine on the inside of it crazy chrome big grill on there we've got the skinny wheel tire combination on the front end right there we've got the the exhaust that exits out right there as well very very cool looking chrome all on the inside and then we got that nice striping kind of a red white and blue theme going on as well 
button there. On the back, we have that big chrome rear bumper, but it's an overall really, really cool looking design. I've been a big fan of all these gasser cars that come out and it's nice to see new color variations of them as well. 1970 Toyota Celica from the HWJ Imports. This one looks like a kind of like a drift car of some sort. So got a really nice wide body on it. Let's go ahead and pop it open and we can see what it looks like right here. You can see how just wide bodied it is. If you look at from above right there, you can see how those fenders come out right there. And from the side, it's got a really, really nice stance. It looks all lowered. It's got those nice period correct mesh wheels on there. We got the lip spoiler on there and that big chrome front end with that big lip on the front right there. You can see it from the side. Very, very cool looking designed car just a like it reminds me of like the initial d series that's kind of what it looks like here but uh, what do you guys think of these early japanese imports Diora 3, brand new recolor of this one. We've seen several different recolors of it. Diora 3, a somewhat controversial. I mean, the Diora 2, I think it's a lot better looking of a casting, but the Diora 3, it's definitely a lot more higher tech looking. Let's go ahead and have a look at what's on the inside of this one so we can see uh, all the different stuff that we have. We've got a, like a bike on the inside of this one right here. You can see that bike. Maybe it's an electric bike, who knows? But uh, the different wheel tire combination, really weird front end right there you can see it's all open and then on the inside i think this is a surfboard as well let's see from this side yeah it is like a little surfboard that's kind of stuck in there right there or maybe it's a paddleboard i'm not really sure uh we got a nice diffuser on the back right there though it's kind of a interesting color to come out with the diora 3 and what do you guys think of the new diora 3 Alpha Pursuit, brand new recolor from the HW Rescue series. There's Alpha Pursuit. Let's go ahead and open him up. And I'm not sure, I think this one is supposed to be an ambulance, I would I would say. I guess this would be an ambulance uh, rescue pursuit car of some sort. Uh, it's called Alpha Pursuit, so I do seem it's a, a police car, but it does say a rescue. So I think this would be an ambulance variation of the Alpha Pursuit. We've got a push bar on the front end. We've got the, the kind of bluish look on the top right there as well, but just an overall nice Nice, classic looking design for a Hot Wheels fantasy car. 67 Oldsmobile 442. We've got the Golf livery on this one from the Muscle Mania series. We'll go ahead and open that one up. We've got the orange striping that goes down the center with the Golf logo right there. I've always been a big fan of all these Golf cars. From the side, the number six, the Golf, the Hot Wheels logo, blacked out wheels, nice colored lip on there. Just an overall great looking design for this muscle car. Can't wait to add this to my Golf livery collection of Hot Wheels cars. La Troca from HW Art Cars, our last car that we're opening up today. Let's go ahead and pop them on open right here. And this one is white with a lot of gold trim and all of that all around. Just a really cool looking. We've got all the graphics on the side, tons of gold chrome all on the bottom right there and on the back. A nice looking bed on here. La Troca, I like all these new recolors of it. What do you guys think of the new Hot Wheels Art Cars variation? In the comment section down below, let me know which was your favorite Hot Wheels car that we opened up today. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next What's one. Up, Peak Timers, Phil here from Peak Time Racing. We've got 10 brand new Matchbox 5 packs that we're gonna open up today. And we'll start it off with the MBX City Drivers 5 pack got five really cool cars in here, which we do have listed on the side. Let's just go ahead and open this one up right here. I'll just rip it on open because that's what I do. Let's just go ahead and crush this guys. And hopefully I don't cut myself on the packaging here. There we go. We've crushed this one open. We'll put the packaging aside and we'll grab our first one just right here up at the top. And this one is the 1965 Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint GTA. This one in silver, as you can see right here. Nice clean looking car, the classic old wheels on here. And on the back, nice looking overall old classic car. And our next one that we have in here is the 2010 Infiniti G37 Coupe. This one in red with the gray wheels on there. Nice looking front end. I've always been a big fan of these Infinities. They're really, really cool. Classic design, really cool sounding V6 engine on these in real life as well. Nice sunroof right at the top right there. And our next one is the 1999 Chevy Silverado 4x4. 
can see this one is all raised up right there. It's got some parts delivery stuff on the side. Look at the big fat wheel tire combination on there. Look at how wide those tires on, big aggressive front end on this one. Nice glossy black there as well. Very nice overall truck though, I really like that one. And our next one that we have in here is our 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback. There it is, 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback, as you can see in a nice blue color. Uh, these wheels, nothing special, and to be completely honest, I'm not a big fan of this car. I think the back of it is really ugly. I mean, there's so many different designs of the Honda Civic, and they seem to just be getting uglier. That's just my opinion. Don't hate on me for that, but hey, there you go. And our last one of this by pack is called the Cliffhanger. And this one looks like a looks like a little squished Jeep. It's like a, a two-seater Jeep, as you can see. Kind of cool. Nice push bar on the front end right there. And from the side, you can see kind of that bar that goes up. And then on the top right there, it's got that single little front windshield right there. It's an all-around pretty cool looking car. I mean, got the spare tire wheel combination on the back. It's a nice little two-seater Jeep, the cliffhanger. And our second five pack is the MBX EV and hybrid. So electric vehicle and hybrid five pack. Let's go ahead and open this one up and we can see what this one's all about. We got a couple of BMWs in this one, which I do really like. So we'll have to see those up close and personal as I just rip it open. I know I'm the worst at opening these. People are gonna make fun of me in the comments for how badly I open up these packs, but there we go. We'll put that aside and kind of cool that being an EV one. And if we look at the packaging itself, I don't know if they purposely did that or not because I don't see any of the other ones that have this, but paper in here. So environmentally friendly for the EV hybrid five pack. I mean, if you do look at the packaging though, this is plastic piece on the front. So maybe not fully, but hey, they, they did a good job at doing it. All right, so our first car in this one, we've got the Toyota Prius Taxi. And if you guys know me and you guys watch my videos, you know what I think of the Toyota Prius. I hate it. I think it's one of the ugliest cars in the world, but I get what it is made for. It's made to be fuel efficient and to get to point A and point B, but I just think it's super ugly and super boring. And it was one of the first like mainstream hybrid vehicles, this one in taxi formation. Our next one, we've got the 2015 BMW i3. Uh, another like ugly kind of car, but efficient car. This one, uh, I believe it does in real life have a little bit of a gas engine in there. I think it's just hybrid. I don't think it's fully electric, but you can run it on electric if you want to. But design wise, I mean, just look at that. Like what is this like window that comes down here? It's just so ugly looking. I don't know, not really my thing, but there we go. BMW i3 and our next one, the 2015 BMW i8 and the i8 I really do like. I think it's a cool designed car. I like the front end, like just the classic BMW front end grill right there. And then it has the, the wing doors that kind of come up right there on them. Not in this one, this is just the, the really mainline variation, but they do have a, the premium opening parts ones that does have the door that opens up there. Nice tan interior, big glass roof on this one. So overall, good looking design matchbox car. And our next one is the 2009 International E-Star. So I believe this one is an electric delivery van. That's what the census is, International E-Star. I don't think we have this one in North America. It's probably popular in Europe, but it definitely does look like an electric delivery van. And there's a couple of companies in the United States that are gonna be doing fully electric delivery vans, which is really, really cool. So this is the future electric van delivery vehicles here but pretty cool, not bad. And our last one in this is the 2010 Nissan Leaf. And it's another ugly looking car in my opinion. And I think this is the biggest problem which a lot of people are having trouble adapting to like hybrids and electrics and stuff like that just because so many of them are so ugly. They are starting to come out with some good looking ones. I think Teslas look really cool, but nonetheless, here is the ugly Nissan Leaf from this MBX uh, EV and hybrid five pack. And next up we have the MBX Rally 2 five pack from Matchbox right here. Got some nice rally cars in there. We'll go ahead and rip open our side as we do. And we can pull out the cars and see all the cool ones that we have included on here. And we'll start off at the top right here. We've got a Volkswagen Beetle. And this one is, uh, what is this one called? Volkswagen Beetle 4x4. So it's a 4x4, so it's got like the, the super 
extended wheel tire combination on there for this one. Got the big Volkswagen uh, like exhaust that sticks out the back. Just look at how like big and aggressive this is for a Volkswagen Beetle. Definitely not your stock Volkswagen Beetle with the 65 on the side of it. And our next one in here, we've got the 2004 Jeep Hurricane Concept. Jeep Hurricane, Hurricane Concept. So this one looks to be a two seater. It's supposed to be like an extra rugged off-road vehicle. There's the big Jeep symbol just on the back right there. Nice blacked out wheels with the chrome lip on there. The big push bar for this one, but I think it's a really, really cool looking off-road Jeep. And the next one that we have in here is the Matchbox Quick Sander. Quick Sander, so this is like, I guess it would be like a Matchbox Fantasy Edition car. Uh, we've got the, the lights. These are supposed to be, I think, lights in the front right there. But it's a pretty cool design car. If we look at it from the side, I kind of like it. I like it. I like this like little lip spoiler that comes out right there. That looks really neat. We got the two spare wheel tires that are just in the back right there. Big mud flaps on here to keep all that dirt down when it's racing around. Nice graphics all the way around the side. We'll put that aside. And our next one that we have is the, it's another Matchbox Edition car. It is called the uh, Ridge Raider, Ridge Raider. So Matchbox Ridge Raider right here. And this one, it's kind of similar to the last one, except We've got like this open top right here. I guess this would be like a pickup truck and it's supposed to be enclosed for aerodynamics. We've got that spoiler there. This one's got a, a tow hitch on there. Some nice graphics on the side. Ridge Raider does even say just right on the back right there so you can see it, 85. And it kind of looks, oh, of course I'm gonna drop it. Wouldn't be a video if I didn't drop a car, but there it is, the Ridge Raider. And our last one from this Matchbox 5 pack, we've got the Hummer H3. Hummer H3. They don't make the Hummers anymore, but it, the Hummer in real life is coming back in an electric form. So this is uh, the H3, the smaller edition. They had the H1, the H2, and the H3. So this was like more of like a family passenger vehicle, but I like it. And the gloss black looks really nice. What do you think of the Hummer H3? And our next Matchbox 5 pack that we're opening up is the Autobahn Express. I really like this five pack Autobahn cars. Looks like some nice ones in here. Let's go ahead and open this pack up and we can get a nice close up look at all the Autobahn Express cars in this Matchbox five pack. We'll put the packaging just right aside right there. And our first one that we'll grab from the top, we've got the 2005 Ford GT. Oh my gosh, I really, really like the Ford GT. Such a cool looking car. Just look at the design of that one from the side. The striping that goes down there, the nice tampa work on the front for those headlights. Just love, love the paintwork on this one. Looks really good. Kind of plain on the back right there, no stamping or anything like that, but the wheel tire combination look excellent for this Ford GT. And our next one in here is a yellow Porsche Panamera. Yellow is my favorite color, as you guys know. And the Porsche Panamera, really, really good Autobahn car. The family four-seater sedan, but just a very classic now. Just been such a super popular car in real life. I think it looks cool. It's fast. It's very capable of being an Autobahn car. We'll put that one aside. Our next one, we've got the Aston Martin DBS Volante. DBS, check it out. Aston Martin, such a crazy classic design. We've seen lots of different variations of the Aston Martins with this kind of body language, but I think it looks excellent. Aston Martins are just so cool. They sound cool as well. I mean, this convertible, can you imagine driving this Aston Martin DBS Volante on the Autobahns with that top down? That would be really, really cool. Nice looking wheels on here as well for this Aston Martin. And our next one we've got is the 1969 BMW 2002. This one, definitely one of the early cars that went on the Autobahn. I don't know how fast this would be because it's kind of like an older, small car. So it's probably not gonna keep up with anything modern on the Autobahn, but it's a nice looking classic, very clean design. I like that paint job on there. It's a nice glossy look to it. Just an overall good one to collect. We'll put that one aside and our last one in here is the Land Rover 90, Land Rover 90. And this one's Police, Police, Police. So I, I don't know, I think that's, is that the German police? I mean, if it's an Autobahn five pack, I would think that this would be the German police. So I'm not too sure exactly, but I think that looks very like the Italian writing. You guys correct me in the comments, which police, which country would this police be from? Uh, my guess would be Germany because it's an Autobahn five pack, but hey, nonetheless, I could be wrong. Nice silver looking color, the push bar on the front end of it, and then 
pretty clean on the back. Just overall, just a clean looking car. And our next five pack, we've got the MBX wagons. That's right, all of these cars in here are wagons. So let's go ahead and open this one up. We've got some new wagons, we've got some old wagons, we've got all the wagons that you'd ever wanna see in a single five pack. So let's go ahead, pop that one open right here the packaging aside and we'll grab our first one at the top and we have got a beauty. It is a 2002 Audi RS6 Avant, RS6 Avant. And check this out, it's like a matte gray color. Very matte finish to this paint job on here, but it shows very, very well on camera, doesn't it? Doesn't it look really, really good? You can see all the angles of this car. We can see from the top, that sunroof, it looks just really, really good. The RS6 Avant, really like that car. Probably my favorite of this five pack. We got some other good ones though too. Next one, we've got the 1964 Ford Fairlane Wagon. This one, a classic from the mid 60s on there. This looks like from some of the movies you saw the families going out, they didn't have like a lot of, I guess they did have SUVs back then. They had a Suburban back then, but this was like the popular family vehicle that you would go camping and RVing and all that stuff in there. But Ford Fairlane Wagon, nice one. Our next one we've got, Cadillac CTS wagon. Oh my gosh, I mean, it's almost like any cool car nowadays. You just put it into a wagon and it makes it even cooler. I think it looks really, really neat. Nice looking front end right there. The big moon roof on there. Look at that, look at how big that moon roof is on there. Interesting color. I don't even know what to call this color on here. What, what, what would you say this color is? It's kind of a mixture of like blue and purple and green and I don't know, it's kind of a weird looking color. And then there's your back end right there and the Cadillac logo right there and the CTS logo. Nice looking car, really, really like that one too. And our next one that we have, we've got the 1959 Chevy Wagon. Check that one out. Uh, kind of like the, the uh, Impala, or sorry, the Ford Fairlane that we had before. Looks like the old classic campers, but check the back out. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look awesome? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I just, I, I really like this this look right here. Just how that is, the Chevy wagon. Doesn't that look awesome? I don't know, something about this one that looks really, really cool. And what does it say even on the bottom right here? It even does say, yeah, 59 Chevy wagon on there. Wild West. I don't know what all this stuff is on the top right there. I guess it's like all of its camping gear and stuff, but. Wow, I like I just like the back end of that. That looks really, really cool. All right, we'll throw that one aside. And the last one that we have, we have a 1971 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. And check it out, we got this big roof rack on the top right there. We can throw a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at this one here. I just noticed in the back end, we've got, looks like two little dogs sticking their heads out enjoying the ride. That's very, very cool. We got like a woody look on the side of it as well, but a nice classic looking wagon. Which was your favorite wagon from this wagon five pack? And our next five pack, we've got the MBX Highway five pack. I guess these are all meant to be like highway cruisers and stuff. So let's go ahead and open it up and we can see which ones are included on this one. Looks like we've got a police highway cruiser in there as well. We'll put the cars on that side. We'll put the packaging over here and let's go ahead and get a nice look at all of these cars. Oh, 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 oh. This one looks to be a Chevy Camaro convertible on there. Nice looking silver color on there. Great detail on the back end for those rear lights. And I like the wheels. The wheels look really good for this one. And there is your nice looking good front end on there. Gray looking top. And we'll look at the bottom of these ones. Doesn't say on the packaging which any of these cars are, but this one definitely is a Camaro. 2016 Chevy Camaro. There we go. So there's our 2016 Camaro. We'll put that one aside. And then we've got a wagon. I mean, kind of in the theme of that wagon five pack. I'm not sure exactly which wagon this one is. We'll go ahead and look in the bottom right here. Ford Fairlane, 1964 Ford Fairlane. Oh, okay, so very similar to one of the wagons that were included in our last pack. I think it's almost the same one, maybe just a different color on that one. Ford Fairlane wagon. There we go. Nice highway cruiser for sure. And then we've got the Fiat 500, uh, is this called the X? Fiat 500X or the L? What is it? Let's see if we see it on the bottom. Fiat 500X, I was right. 2016 Fiat 500X in blue. And these ones in real life, they haven't been very popular. They're supposedly super unreliable in real life, but hey, I mean, I don't think they sell much. I mean, you get like a, it's like a small little hatchback that they just raise it up and put some off-road tires on it and call it an SUV. Not a huge fan of this one, but there we go. Fiat 500X. And then next up we have, 
It looks like a Mustang 5 liter, or the Mustang LX, and this one is the Sheriff Highway Patrol. If you look at any movies made in the early 90s and then there's uh, like a highway chase scene, it's always in like a Mustang like this one. Looks really, really cool. Look on the bottom and see what exactly it says right here. It says, uh, it looks like a 93 Ford Mustang LX. SSP? SSP, all right. I'm not sure what the SSP is. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. But a nice looking car nonetheless. And then the last one that we did get in our Highway 5 pack, it looks like a Porsche Cayman. Very, very cool looking color on this one. Blacked out wheels. Check out that front end. Nice looking graphics for the stamping of the headlights right there. On the back, also very clean, nice look. And what does it say? What does our license plate say? Uh, it's just some random license plate. And on the bottom, it definitely says Porsche Cayman. That's it. So we know it is the Porsche Cayman. And our next Matchbox 5 pack, we've got the MBX Airport 5 pack. And we got a nice Lamborghini in there as well. Let's go ahead and open up this 5 pack and get a close up look at our vehicles in here. And I, again, am just going to absolutely destroy the packaging on this Matchbox 5 pack. We're just gonna pull it out just like that. Ooh, all right, there we go, there we go. All right, we'll put the box just right here. We'll put the packaging right there. And there we go. We'll grab our first one right here. Lamborghini Gallardo Police. It says police, but I don't know why you'd need exactly a police on an airstrip, but nonetheless, it is an excellent looking car. Absolutely love this one right here. Look at the graphics on the side. Nice looking Lamborghini. And our next one we have right here, the Toyota Prius. Oh yes, the Toyota Prius. Another Prius. Oh my gosh, we don't need any more Priuses. But this one is a ride share edition. So they don't say it's like Uber or anything like that. They call it Matchbox ride sharing, which, which is kind of cool. I like how they did that. Gold wheels, like a silverish gray body on there. Then it's got some like little taxi thing on the top right there. But please, Matchbox, don't make any more Toyota Priuses. I don't like them. All right, we'll put that one aside. Our next one that we have right here is the Swift Shuttle. Swift Shuttle right there, there we go. So this one, obviously it's gonna transport passengers maybe from the airport to the plane of some sort, but looks really cool. Looks kind of futuristic right there, the airport logo on the side of it right there, or maybe it's for the park and ride. Maybe you park and then this bus would take you right back to the airport and you can fly on your airplane. All right, we'll put that one there. And our next one we have, is the petrol pumper. Petrol pumper right here it says gas tanker on there. So obviously this is one that would probably just go and refuel the airplanes or maybe it might refuel like vehicles within the airport, but such a very, very nice looking one. I like it. It's, a, it's kind of a good classic design of a old pumper truck right there. I got the ladder on the back of it. Very, very nice. All right, and our last one that we have right here is the Runway Wrangler. And this one would be one that you would load all the, the luggage and stuff like that, I guess, on there, and then you'd drive it right up. You can see this got this little area right here where you can throw a bunch of the luggage and stuff in, and that would go and then back it up and they'd load it right onto the plane. Or this one could possibly like maybe pull the plane. I don't know if it would pull the plane, but it, it's made to look functional. So it looks kind of crazy, kind of weird. Kind of, kind of looks like a muscly car, doesn't it? <laughs> And since we're on the airport theme, why not the Top Gun Maverick Matchbox 5 pack? Check this one out. Very, very cool. Lots of really nice cars in here and an airplane as well. So let's go ahead and pop this one open and we can see these Top Gun Maverick vehicles right here. We'll put the packaging right there aside and we'll here, we'll put the box down there and we'll grab this one at the top right here. And this one looks to be like an old Jaguar. I'm not 100% sure because it doesn't say on the side what any of these cars are, but my guess is this one is a Jaguar. We'll look on the bottom right here and we'll see how correct I was right here. Nope, I was totally wrong. It was a 1956 Aston Martin DBR1. All right, there we go. So I was wrong, Aston Martin DBR1, very nice looking though. Such a cool looking design, looks like an old 50s race car. Well, that's what it is, that's exactly what it is. But the Aston Martin DBR1, very, very nice. Our next one that we have right here 
We've got the Dodge Challenger right here, Dodge Challenger. There's your nice aggressive front look of the Dodge Challenger, the stripes that go down the center. I like this color, this color looks really good. It's kind of like becoming a nice mainstream color. Good looking tampa work on the back that's all painted for the lights. This wheel tire combination looks excellent. And we'll get a look at the exact name of it. Did I call it wrong? Nope, it is a Dodge Challenger, there you go. Finally got one right. Oh, there we go. All right, our next one that we have, and this one looks to be a Raptor, Ford F-150 Raptor or Ford F-150 SVT Raptor, I guess you would exactly call it. We got the Ford on the on the front right there. Nice gloss black look. We've got the spare wheel tire combination on the back right there. And you can see, actually it does say the Raptor SVT. And we'll look on the bottom exactly what it says right here as well. And I don't see where it says anything, but we know this one's a Raptor. I can know that for 100% sure. There we go, the Raptor. And our next one we have is Petrol Pumper. Another edition of Petrol Pumper right here. And this one specifically says Jet Fuel. Don't be mistaken, Jet Fuel only on this one right here. I like the blue color on this one right here. And there's that look from the front end, but lots of Jet Fuel. Be careful with this one because we are refueling the jets. Oh my gosh, check this one out. The Top Gun jet, and I think the wings come out. Yeah, the wings do come out. Check that out. Is that not cool? Wow, that is awesome to see Matchbox make this jet for the Top Gun Maverick 5-pack. That is very, very cool. Does it specify on the bottom anything specific? It says Swing Wing. All right, so Matchbox makes their own one. They call it the Swing Wing, obviously because uh, this one can take off like that and land like that and then when it gets into this mode That's the the full jet mode where it just slices right through the air the swing wing And our next matchbox five pack is the blue highways 2 We've got some classics in here and then we've got a modern car Let's go ahead and rip open the packaging on this one and see what it's all about We'll go ahead and put the cars to this side right here and our first one that we have right at the top right here is the 1963 Aston Healy Roadster. Austin Healy Roadster, sorry, that's the exact pronunciation. Austin Healy Roadster. But there we go. Look at that. Very classic look to this one right here. A nice, it looks, it looks like a nice little cruiser. Almost looks like it's like a smiling face on the front. Isn't that cool? And then from the side, it's kind of the classic colors for this Austin Healy Roadster. The next one that we have right here, the 1957 Ford Thunderbird. Look at that, the two-seater. This one, when it came out, was kind of, I guess it was kind of trying to compete with the Corvette. And then the Corvette kind of took off and left the Thunderbird in its dust. But back then, very, very cool looking design. I really like that. Look at the big fins on the back, all the chrome on there, even from the front, the chrome bumpers on there. And the two-seater kind of classic design. Really, really nice looking car though. Really like that one. And our next one that we have in here, the 2016 Chevy Camaro Convertible. It's the only modern car in this. Nice looking tempo stamping on the back right there. All black for this car, black outside, black interior on there. And we got the nice five star wheels on there from the front end. Great looking design on this one. They've done a really, really good job. And we've seen many different color variations of this Chevy Camaro. And the next one that we have in here, this one I know for sure. I know for sure I got it wrong before, but I'm not gonna get it wrong this time. 1956 Aston Martin DBR1, there we go. It's not a Jaguar, guys, it's not a Jaguar. It's an Aston Martin DBR1. We got a new color variation of this one in this five pack right here. It's kind of like a nice candy apple red to it, and it's got modern wheels on it, which is kind of cool. It's kind of resto mod on there, but just look at the design on that. Is that not awesome? I love it. I would think it would be so fun to ride around in one of these ones in real life, wouldn't it? Or we can just put it on our shelf and collect it as well. All right, and our last one from this five pack. Speaking of Jaguars, we finally, we do, we do, we have a Jaguar. The 1956 Jaguar XR140 Roadster. That's right, we do get a Jaguar in this one. So there we go, I'm not gonna call this one an Aston Martin. We'll call it a Jaguar, cause that's what it is. Blacked out wheels, classic look on this one. The nice classic interior there with the, the leather and all of that one. There's the Jaguar 56 on the back of it. Really, really nice looking. Really like all these roadsters. And our last Matchbox five pack that we're opening up is the MBX Fire Rescue. We're saving one of the best for last. I really do like fire trucks. Got lots of really cool fire trucks in here. So let's go ahead and pop these ones open right here. Ooh, we're hitting the camera here too. All right, we'll pop it open. We'll rip it open here. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, we've got it open. We'll put the packaging and stuff all aside right here. We'll look at our first one as I'm dropping cars. Besides, you guys can hear me dropping cars, but hey, we're just, we're, it wouldn't be the video if we didn't drop some cars, but good thing we have the fire rescue truck to go rescue those cars. This one is called the Flame Tamer. It definitely tames those flames out there. Big ladder truck on here. Does the ladder move? It does, of course it does. D look at that. Look at, oh, that is so awesome. It doesn't turn or anything like that. It just stays straight, but wow, that is so cool. Really, really do like this ladder truck, the Flame Tamer. We'll put him down right there. And our next one that we have right here, we've got, it looks like an ambulance right here. So this is just called the Matchbox Ambulance right there. There we go, nice look to this one right here. Just looks like a, a, a big like semi truck front end with the ambulance on the back. It's got like the heart beating on there and all that stuff on there. Nice red look to that one for the ambulance to help out all those other cars that fell maybe. Next up, we've got the 2015 Ram 1500 and this looks to be like a another fire, like I guess the, the chief would come in this truck right here. It's got a push bar on the front. So it's very capable of a fire truck, got the lights on there and there's your fire department logo and all that stuff on there. That's a really cool looking truck though. Doesn't that look really nice? And next up we have the Ford Police Interceptor right here. It looks like a Crown Victoria. They call it the Ford Police Interceptor, but I think it is a Crown Vic. And of course you need this one to like hold the traffic steady so that the uh, flame tamer can go in there and uh, get rid of all those flames. So definitely a cool looking one. And our last one that we're looking at today is the Freightliner M2106 Fire Tanker. And this one I guess would be full of like water of some sort or the that uh, flame material that you would just put on all the flames to put it out right there. Big semi truck front end right there. And then the tanker on the back of this one, blacked out wheels. The center is chrome though. What a nice looking tanker truck. In the comment section down below, let me know which was your favorite Matchbox 5 pack that we opened up today. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe and follow and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Up, Peak Bye. Timers, Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up a bunch of new Hot Wheels. And we'll go ahead and start it off with this one right here. We've got the 2015 Dodge Charger SRT from the HW Rescue Series. This one in yellow with the the rescue colors and we'll go ahead and pop it open and see what this one's all about we do have really nice looking color on here we've got the blacked out wheels with the colored lip on them as well we've got the rescue logo on the front rescue 7 rescue 7 on the side not much tampa work on the rear end and on the front end it's kind of plain and stuff as well they've saved all the stamping and tempos for the side and top of this car we'll go ahead and put it aside in our next one right here that we have is the 1970 Toyota Celica right here. Nice looking wide body on this one. This is from the HWJ Import Series. Let's go ahead and open this one up. We can get a nice close up look at this one right here. And you can see this one's got those nice wheels on there. Like they're kind of like the mesh style wheels. And then just look at from the top. You can see that wide body on here. That is crazy. Nice looking wide body in here. We got the lip spoiler. We can see all on the side right there, a little bit of stamping, the striping that goes down the side. From the front end, we've got that big chrome lip on the front right there. Cool looking front end. We got the nice little hood on there as well. And from the rear end, we've got some more chrome with that lip spoiler. And on the bottom, you can see the chrome. That is what meshes into the front and the back. But very nice looking 1970 Toyota Celica. We'll go ahead and put him aside in our next one that we have right here. We've got the Robo Race Robo Car. This is from the HW Green Speed series. And there it says Robo Race Robo Car. And we'll go ahead and open it up. And this one, and if you're not familiar with this, this is an all electric unmanned race car. And so it's become a pretty popular, very fast electric race car with no driver in it. So very interesting for technology. You can see it's definitely a cool looking car, that big diffuser on there. And just look at all the coloring and crazy stuff going on with this car. Robo race, Robocar, interesting car though. And let's go ahead and grab one from the bottom right here. 
And we've got the 49 Ford F1 from the HW Hot Truck Series. This is the mainline variation of a Super Treasure Hunt. So you can see that one right there. Let's go ahead and open it up and you can get a nice look at this crazy looking paint job and stuff on this one. You can see, just look at that crazy graphics and all of that. We've got the white wall tires on there nice looking wheels chrome base all on there and from the back end it's a very nice looking color on this one it's kind of like a pearlish type sparkly color on there there's that big chrome grill on the front end of this one absolutely amazing looking truck gotta like this one right here and we'll put him aside we'll grab another car right here on top We've got the 1982 Dodge Rampage from the HW Hot Trucks. And this is kind of like a car that's turned into a truck. It's got the truck rear end, but it's more or less just a car. Very, very cool new casting for Hot Wheels. And we've got that one open now in black with the red striping that goes along there. And on the top, you can see that nice looking uh, like bike in there. It's a three wheeler uh, ATV type of bike on there. We got the cool striping and stuff like that. That's definitely like an 80s look for the striping. You can see even 70s look, it kind of looks like that. But we can look on the back right there. We've got the trailer hitch on it. So if you have a little Hot Wheels trailer, you can put him on there. These wheels are very modern looking though for an 80s car, but nonetheless, very nice new recolor of the 82 Dodge Rampage. And our next one we'll grab right here. We have got the Toyota Land Cruiser 80 from the HW Hot Trucks series, brand new casting for Hot Wheels. And just check out this one. This one's very big. So it's a very nice looking big casting. We'll pop it open right there. And there we have it. Look at that. Look at these big wheel tire combination. It's kind of got this new color. It's kind of like that uh, kind of like glossy gray color that's becoming very trendy and very popular on there. There's the spare wheel and tire on the rear end of this one. And then we've got the lights on the front. Nice stamping, nice tamper work. This is a great looking car. I really, really like the detail, the shaping, the design of this car is very, very nice. They've done a great job at this one for the Hot Wheels lineup. And I'm sure we'll get this one as a premium in a future set. So stay tuned for that. And we'll grab another truck right here. Lots of trucks in this one. We've got this one, which is the 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor from the HW Torque series. And there we have it, the big Raptor on the side. And let's go ahead and open up this Raptor right here. And very, very aggressive looking truck right there. Check that one out. Wow, 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 I like that one. Like the, the kind of silverish wheels right there with the big tire and treads. We've got the classic Ford written on the back, which is what the Raptors have. And we can see it just on the front right there for that special Raptor grill. And this is the kind of like the single cab one here, or not, I don't know if you call it single cab, but it's got the flap out doors, so it's not the dual cab on there. There's a sunroof on the top right there, but we've gotten lots of recolors of this Raptor and I really like it. It's a really cool looking Hot Wheels casting. And we'll grab one here from the bottom. We have got the Justice League Batmobile. And this is the treasure hunt for the 2021 Hot Wheels end case. So you can see the treasure hunt logo is just right on the back of the card right there. And I'll show you where it is on the actual car itself. Batman is the name of this one right here. Justice League Batmobile. And as we look at it from the side, if we look really, really, really closely, just right there on the top, you can see your little treasure hunt logo right there. So nothing on the side. We've got it just right on the top right there. And then it's nice looking color and stuff on there. Very, very cool. It's kind of a lime greenish yellow coloring. And you can see just these wheels on here. I really, really like these wheels. It's nice to see more of these come to the Hot Wheels lineup. And there we go. And also another thing to tell, if you look at the actual packaging, which I grab the right package here, there it is. So if we look at the packaging, you can see the treasure hunt logo, which is just right on there as well. So if you grab a Hot Wheels car, you can kind of look through to see if you see that treasure hunt logo, if you're not sure. But once you open it up, you can see it pretty clearly. And then also look for the treasure hunt logos on the cars. They, they usually have two treasure hunt logos, so one on each side, but uh, because there's nowhere to put it on the side of this Batmobile, they've just got the one right there on the top. So very neat. And we'll grab another car right here. We've got the 1996 Chevrolet Impala SS from the HW Rescue series. This one originally came in its black formation, the original black, and now they've released it in a white one, which is 
for the rescue series, of course. Want some of the rescue colors for this one. And we pop it open right here, and this one does say Fire and Rescue with a 68 on there. You can see some sort of logo right there for the Fire and Rescue. Not much stamping or anything on the front end right there. We've just got the, the kind of coloring stripe down on the hood, which kind of splits right at the top, which looks pretty neat. Kind of like that one right there. On the back, nothing on the back as far as stamping or paint or anything like that. Blacked out wheels. Overall, a great looking car. Nice looking design. Kind of looks plain in the white though. I really like the, the blacked out version with the original wheels and all that stuff on there. But nonetheless, nice to see more colors coming to the Hot Wheels mainline lineup. Next up, we've got a recolor of the Mercedes 500E, Mercedes-Benz 500E. We saw this one in black, now we've got it in the silverish gray color, factory fresh series. And there it is, nice looking stance on this one. I love the look of this one. It's a very classic designed Hot Wheels car. And there we have it. And these wheels, I think these are the same wheels that came in the black one as well. But just look at that, look at the design from there. Just very boxy-ish with a little bit of curves on the front end. And just look at the classic Mercedes front end grill. Very very, very nice looking, really, really like that. From the top end, very clean look to this one, no sunroof or anything like that. And from the side, you can see kind of little slats and stuff right in there. And then from the back, great looking stamping tampos all on there. Excellent, excellent design car. One of my favorite new Hot Wheels casting for 2021. Just because it's designed so well, the stamping is all correct, and the stance and all of this car just look excellent. Absolutely love it. We'll grab another one right here, we'll grab the Tesla Cybertruck from the HW Green Speed Series. Tesla Cybertruck, as it says right there. Go ahead and pop open the Tesla Cybertruck. This is a big Hot Wheels car, and you guys have already seen that I've already tested one down our track, and unfortunately, it does not fit on the Hot Wheels six lane raceway, so we're not gonna be able to race the Tesla Cybertruck, which I was really looking forward to, so somewhat disappointing, but hey, we've got a great looking model of it right here, and obviously, it's the electric power. We're gonna see a lot more electric cars coming to the Hot Wheels lineup because that is the future electric is the future and we did have another big vehicle on here the toyota let's go ahead and compare that to the cybertruck i called this one big but now we've got the cybertruck just look at how much bigger the cybertruck is i mean it's pretty big of a car crazy the cybertruck can't wait to see this one in real life until that time we've got the hot wheels formation of it we'll grab another one right here we've got the x jet from the marvel x-men series so it's an actual jet right there let's go ahead and open it up and see what this one's all about we've got some extra packaging in this one as well so if we actually take that off and you can see this little packaging right here and oh we do have a stand which is really neat all right let's go ahead and pop the casting open right here and i love fast jets and this one definitely looks like a crazy fast jet i mean they do have the the hot wheels planes that with the propellers and stuff on there but i like jets so this jet is really cool fast very very fast looking got the nice wings on there you can see it just looks very aerodynamic you can see from the front end right there as well. And if we go ahead and grab the stand right here, so you can see just right on the bottom, it's got a little insert for the stand and there is the stand that fits. And let's go ahead and pop the stand right on there. There we go, we've got it. And then really unique about the stand as well, which you can kind of see, you can see that this little piece right up here that comes right there, that's a, it's supposed to be a Hot Wheels logo. So that's pretty neat, pretty cool. But there it is, we can stand it up. So if we go ahead and we just stand it right there, stands very, very nicely. So if you want to display this one, you can go ahead and do so. So we'll go ahead and put him aside. We'll grab, we've got three more cars to open up. Our next one that we have is the Fusion Busta. Fusion Buster, that's an interesting name casting. We'll go ahead and open Fusion Busta up. Brand new casting from the HW Flames series. And I th yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a brand new casting. It's actually like, kind of looks like like it's supposed to be a crazy hot rod, but it almost looks like it's a modernized crazy hot rod, which is pretty neat. You can see the exhaust stuff coming out there. And from the front end, almost looks kind of like an F1 car with these kind of flaps and stuff right there. The engine that sticks out, very aggressive looking from the side. You can see the window and stuff that looks very, very aggressive. If we look at it from the back end right there, you can see it's got some sort of diffuser or something right here. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a wing of some sort, but wow interesting new hot wheels fantasy casting and we'll put him there and we've got 
the Rocket Oil Special, and this is like a 1930s kind of style race car uh, from the HW Art Cars series. And we'll go ahead and pop him open. We've got a new color of him because we've gotten several colors of this one before, and you can see this one. Wow, very colorful, different color wheel tire combination from the front and rear. And I don't know how many cylinders this has um, as a car, but this looks like the crazy biggest engine ever. I mean, for a Hot Wheels car, how many different, like you can see the exhaust that comes out. This The whole front end is basically just part of the engine right there. And we've got the little seat right there where you can sit down in the steering wheel and all of that. But a very, very interesting new recolor to the Hot Wheels lineup. And our very last car that we're gonna be opening up today, we've got a brand new casting. It is Mad Splash. And this is supposed to be like a, a hydroplane, hydro jet, uh, water jet that has the water underneath. And this is from the HW Race Team series. And that one opened up pretty nicely off the card right there. We'll go ahead and put the packaging aside. And let's have a look at that one. That is really cool. So this is, this all this whole bottom part is supposed to imitate like the water even they've made the, the wheel tire combination clear so that it kind of blends in nicely and you're supposed to just see the hydroplane on the top i mean honestly i don't know why they needed to, to put the water on the bottom i would have liked to just see just the casting itself and maybe with just small little wheels on the bottom that are kind of hidden up into the casting that the the actual water stuff is a little bit weird one thing i was thinking maybe does this come off Nope, it does not. So it's built all in together. I was thinking if this came off, that would be actually be pretty cool of a casting, but we've got the big engine on the back end right there. And I don't know what these things are supposed to be. Maybe some sort of cargo or something that it's carrying, but there we have it guys. In the comment section down below, let me know which was your favorite card that we opened up today. Make sure you guys are hitting that like, follow, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next What's one. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up 40 of the best new Hot Wheels. And we'll start it off with the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo in blue. Absolutely love this casting, originally released in white. Then we did get a red variation. Now we've got this nice looking blue variation right here, as you can see. All the nice looking details on this car. Love the chrome wheels on there. Good details on the back as far as the stamping temple work. We've got the T-tops on the top right there, all around fantastic looking vehicle. Next up, we've got the Mazda RX-3, the Mr. Mike's version right here. We'll go ahead and open this one up. This this one in white does have a nice wide body on it as you can see right there look at that wide body look just right over from the top right there we got the hot wheels logo on the front of it and just a cool looking car from the side bentley continental gt3 2018 model year for this one in british racing green of course the green for the bentley and there we have it from the side nice looking stamping all on the side of it right there blacked out wheels big spoiler on this one really cool looking striping from the top with the 100 that just goes down there we got the bentley logo just right on the top right there showing through nicely no stamping or anything on the back we got that big rear diff Fuser and no painted headlights or anything like that though. AMC Rebel Machine in white with blue on the side of it. And this is a Muscle Mania series car. This one, it's got the nice American colors on there. We've got the white on top with the red striping and then the blue on the side. Cool looking painted chrome wheels on there. Big chrome on the rear and the front and then the chrome base on the bottom for this AMC Rebel. 2017 Camaro ZL1, nice looking color, nice looking striping on the side from the then and now series. There's that big stripe that just goes down the center of it right there. From the side, we got the 17, the blacked out wheels with the white lip on there, staggered bigger on the rear, smaller on the front, no stamping on the back or the front of it, but a mean, aggressive looking car. 2018 Kia Stinger GT in black from the HW Turbo series. This one we've gotten in many different colors now we've got the black release. We've got the gray mesh wheels on it there. Nice looking stamping on the rear with the lights and all of that, as well as the front end it looks really, really cool. This one's been really fast down the peak time racing track. Maybe this new black one will be as well. 
2020 Jeep Gladiator in green with the bike on the rear. We've got this one from the HW Getaways series. We'll pop this one open right here and you can see the big wheel tire combination on there. We've got the gray lip on the wheels and we've got some sort of writing on the side of it. There is the two dirt bikes in the back right there sticking out. Looks really, really cool. Nice looking Jeep classic front end right there and anything on the rear. We do got a little bit of stamping on the rear there as well. It's an all around good looking Jeep though. 2020 Jaguar F type. We've got this one in several different colors. Now we've got this blue variation. This one from the Factory Fresh series. It's a new casting for 2021. We've got the 10 spoke chrome wheels on there. Love the front end look of this very Jaguar-esque but we got from the side, nice looking. Look at those lights that come out on the rear of that one as well. Great, great looking car, very, very well designed. Love this classic looking Jaguar look. From HW Race Team, we've got the 1987 Dodge D100. This one with the blue on here. It's a matte blue finish with the Hot Wheels logo on the side of it right here. This one's made for jumping. You can see it's kind of raised in the front right there with that suspension cowl hood on the front. We've got white red, blue, all the American colors on there. We've got the number one on the side of it, Goodyear logo. And on the back, you can see that cool looking tire in this one for this Dodge D100. Tesla Cybertruck. We've got the brand new Tesla Cybertruck from the HW Green Speed, of course, because it's electric. We'll pop this one open right here. And it's got a Zamac finish to it, but that's kind of the finish how it is in real life. So it's gonna be interesting to see what new colors they come out with for the Tesla Cybertruck. You can see they've got that retracting rear cover on here. Obviously it's not retracting on our little Hot Wheels die cast, but just a great looking car. It's very unique. It's definitely something different. It's kind of like a love it or hate it. I know a lot of people are not gonna like this design, but I think it's really futuristic and cool for this Tesla Cybertruck. 2017 Nissan GTR R35 from the then and now series, car number two of 10 yellow, my favorite color, you know it. And we've got the nice blacked out wheels on there. We've got a, looks like a chrome red lip to them as well. We got a nice painted front end right there for that little Nissan logo that just kind of comes around like a horseshoe at the front. We've got the nice striping that goes down the front rear and we've got the very very nice looking cool stripe there and we've got on the back of it the nice stamping for the rear taillights the nissan logo little license plate the dual quad exhaust tips right there but very very neat looking nissan gtr r35 lancia delta integrali car number six of ten from the baja blazer series white this one's a new casting for 2021 and i've opened up a few of these before absolutely love this one it did come in a black release as well. This one in white looks absolutely fantastic. Love the stamping on the side of it as well as the front end. It's just such a great detail car on this one here. We don't have these in real life in North America, but it's just a very, very cool looking rally car. Honda Civic SI from the Factory Fresh Series, car number three of 10, blue, lowered. It's got the nice chrome wheels on there, that big spoiler for that kind of Honda like I don't know if you call it like a souped up type of look, but it definitely is interesting to see. The Honda logo on the back, the stamping right there, the sunroof on the top, black interior, cool looking aggressive front end. It looks like it's got some sort of body kit on there. That hood is definitely not stock, but it's an interesting car all around. If you're a Civic fan, this is definitely a good one to collect. 2020 Koenigsegg Jesco from the HW Torque Series, car number two of five. We've got the white release of this one. We did originally see this one in a silver. Then we got the white and the gray. And if actually you look right in the back right there, you can see all three color variations of it, but this is the white one. So we've opened up another white one right here. We've got the gray wheels on this one right here and cool looking kind of like a, a darker gray striping that just goes down the center of it. We've got that crazy big spoiler on there for good aerodynamics on this car and that big exhaust tip in the back as well. The Koenigsegg Jesco, such a cool looking hyper car. Ford GT40 Gumball 3000 Edition, then and now series car number one of 10. We'll go ahead and open this one up. And we did get the now variation as a 2017 Ford GT. We might have one of those to open up today as well. And we've got this one with the blacked out wheels, the number four on the side of it. If we look from the top, you can see that Gumball 3000 logo just right on the front end right there. And you can see the indentation of the doors that will open up. It's got some really interesting doors on here. Engine in the rear, you can see it right through the window right 
right there. If we look on the back, nice clean looking design. It's very, very classic looking 60s race car Le Mans winner. You guys saw it in Ford versus Ferrari. 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. This one in a nice new blue color. Oh, I like this casting. Car number eight of 10 from the Baja Blazers series for 2021. We've got the mudded out tires. Oh, I've been a big fan of this series with all the mudded out tires. Right on the front right there, you can see that Ram logo standing there nice and aggressive. Aggressive looking front end, big dual sunroof on there. There's the back bed of it blacked out with blue on the lip around it. We've got Ram on the back of it and just a very, very cool looking Baja Blazers Ram. 67 Ford GT40 Mark IV from HW Race Day. Car number eight of 10. This one in yellow, love the yellow. We've got the cool classic look from the side of it, very race car-esque. And from the front end, very aggressive looking design, aerodynamic look to this one. We've got that thin dual stripe that just goes down the whole car in the center. And then the number one just on the front end right there. Number one on the side of it with some striping as well. And number one right on the rear as well. If we look on the back of it, very cool looking rear engine, rear exhaust design for this Ford GT40. One of my favorite new modern hypercars, the McLaren Speedtail from the Factory Fresh Series, car number seven of 10. Let's go ahead and open this one up in this cool looking silver color. We've got this one in several different color variations. If I actually look in the back wall right here, you can see the orange release of the McLaren Speedtail, but this one looks fantastic. I love the look of silver because it shows off all the lines of the cars very, very nicely. You can see the nice clean look, very aerodynamic long tail on the back they call it speed tail there is the tail that makes it go over 250 miles per hour in real life it's not an air as well it does have these kind of speed cover wheels on the front of it in real life so that's what hot wheels tries to imitate but i love the mclaren speed tail 1991 GMC Cyclone from the HW Turbo Series, car number three of five. We saw this one originally released in black. Now we're getting some different colors. We've had a red one and a premium. Now we got this blue with silver one right here. Love the wheels on this. That looks so, so cool. It's kind of fitting for like a 90s style of vehicle. If we look on the back of it, you can see the Cyclone logo right there. And another little logo. I can't remember exactly what that says right there, uh, but very, very cool covered bed design. It's got some sparkle in this paint job you can see it kind of in the light right there from the front end very clean very boxy looking but it's just a very very neat looking truck and i'm a big fan of these from the 90s the gmc cyclone 1970 dodge power wagon from the baja blazer series car number two of ten so we've got some mud on this one let's go ahead and check out the mudded out tires on this power wagon right there you can see how much mud there is on these giant wheel tire combination on here if we look from the rear you can see it as well we've got this cool looking like push bar roll bar type of thing with uh, imitation lights on there the 70 on the side for the model year of this one and look at the front end very very aggressive looking for this dodge power wagon dodge and goodyear written on the back of this one as well this is one of my all-time favorite hot wheels casting it just looks so so cool so aggressive looking it's a neat looking truck Land Rover Defender 90 Baja Blazer Series car number four of ten another mudded out tire look we've gotten several Baja Blazer Series cars absolutely loving this series here and this one you can see this Land Rover Defender very boxy look but very very classic look design we've got these spare tire wheel combination somehow no mud got on to that spare on the back but the wheel tire combination you can see how much mud is on these ones right here we've got the 90 on the side the Land Rover series uh, the logo right there on the front a big sunroof as well very cool looking absolutely love this Land Rover Mercedes-Benz 300 SL from the HW Speed graphic series car number 9 of 10 IWC racing on the top of this one they did release this one as a premium RLC car this is a mainline variation though very very good detail Detail. really really liking this one it hasn't been in the main lines for a long time you can see the imitation of the cutout for the gullwing doors on this one obviously doesn't open up in a mainline variation from the rear we've got the Mercedes logo just written on the back the number 68 just a really good looking designs car when it was the fastest car of its time when it was originally released obviously now we've got some new ones that are much faster but a very very cool collectible car 
1994 Bugatti EB110 SS from the HW Exotic Series. Car number six of 10 SS stands for Super Sport. This is a brand new release. We just got it. We've opened up already one or two of these already, but now we're opening up this one. And I really, really like this casting. Love the color of this one. Love the design of this Bugatti. It's very, very cool looking, very 90s-esque, but it was ahead of its time. And you can see on the back, the nice detail on the lights and stuff like that. The wheels look period correct. It looks really, really good. You can see those slots right there, air intakes and all of that. And from the front end, just such a cool looking design. Absolutely love the Bugatti EB110 Super Sport. A future classic, the Corvette C8R from the HW Race Day Series, car number six of 10. We originally saw this one released in yellow, which is the real life color. And then the other real life color is this gray. And it's got the kind of opposite effect. So you can see it's got some color to it. This one looks like a little bit orangey for the color as well. Blacked out wheels on this one. Big rear spoiler. No stamping or tamper work or anything on the rear, but we do have a nice big diffuser on this one. And from the front end, just a crazy aggressive looking design. You can see that front lip on there. Very, very cool color. Very cool design for the Corvette C8R. We saw the original GT40. Now we've got the 2017 Ford GT from the then and now series, completing the series of these cars. Car number seven of 10. Let's go ahead and open up the 2017 Ford GT in white with the cool looking striping around the sides. Gray wheels on this one. I like the blue tinted windows on there. That looks really cool. Just a very, very awesome looking design on the front end right there. You can see those lights and all from the back end as well. You can see the exhaust in the middle. Very, very cool looking design. If you are a Ford GT fan, there are so many good Ford GTs that have come to Hot Wheels. You make sure you go try and collect them all. 1985 Honda CRX from the HW Speed Graphic Series, car number three of 10. Let's go ahead and open up this one right here. This one's in black with some blue around it. We've got the mesh out wheels on there, turbo on the side of it from the front end. Nice looking aggressive intake on there and that cut off rear end. Very classic of the Honda CRX. Custom 2018 Ford Mustang GT from HW Drift. This one in red, it's a Formula Drift car as you can see right there. Go ahead and pop it open and see all the aggressive paint job and body kit on this one right here. You can see just from the side, different tire wheel combination colors. We've got that really big spoiler on there. No stamping on the back. They've saved it just for the side and the front. You can see it from the front, the FD for Formula Drift. Looks really good in red. What do you guys think of these Formula Drift cars? Cars. Nissan Leaf Nismo RC02 from the HW Green Speed car number five of five gray black on the bottom. Let's go ahead and pop it open right here. This is an all electric race car and you can see that big spoiler on the rear blacked out windows on there. It's got some writing on the side Nissan intelligent mobility on there very plain on the rear but big spoiler on there. And then on the front end, good looking design, kind of aggressive looking, but it looks really cool. I wonder how fast this would be in real life as a race car. Aston Martin 177 from the HW Rescue Series, car number seven of 10, no, four of 10. I got that right, there we go. This one is made to look like an ambulance of some sort. I can't remember the exact country it was from. One of you guys commented in a previous video letting me know. You can see that these wheel tire combinations kind of hang down a lot, so I'd love it like to see this one tucked up a little bit. You can see how it just kind of hangs right there. From the back, we got that nice diffuser, not much stamping or anything like that on the rear. If we look on the front end, cool looking, nice aggressive design. This is kind of a matte finish satin paint job on there. Check out the details for the headlights for this Aston Martin 177. Nissan GTR Liberty Walk Edition. They officially call this one the LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR version two. So very, very long name. From the HWJ Import Series, car number eight of 10, Liberty Walk. You can see it says right there. I love this car. We are getting a new recolor of this one in red, but I love this original blue release of it. You can see just how aggressive that looks from the side. Big spoiler on there. Excellent stamping on the rear end. Just looks absolutely perfect from the front end. Very aggressive looking design. They've done this car very, very well. If you have not found this one, make sure you get your hands on it. Try and find it, keep it, collect it, because it's going to be a great collectible car in the future. Future. Love this design of this Nissan GTR. Porsche Taycan Turbo S 
from the HW Green Speed Series, card number four of five. This is our original release of it, and it's kind of in a darker candy apple maroonish type red color. Blacked out wheels on there. All electric car, just so many new all electric cars coming to the Hot Wheels lineup. That is the future. So if you want to get with the future, you got to release these electric cars, and I really do enjoy them. Love the Porsche Taycan. I think it looks excellent. It's a great looking design car. Blacked out wheels of the chrome look look really good. I'd like to see this one come out maybe in a white color with those same blacked out wheels that'd be cool 2021 ford bronco then and now series car number three of ten let's go ahead and pop this one open and this one came in blue originally now we've got the orange release of this one bronco on the side of it as you can see gray wheels big wheel tire combination we got the spare on the back of it right there just kind of tacked right on and very boxy looking design but nice looking kind of a, a throwback to the original bronco written on the front end very aggressive I mean, there's no mistaking that this is a real Ford Bronco. What do you guys think of the new, brand new 2021 Ford Bronco? 2019 Audi R8 Spider HW Exotic Series, car number four of 10. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. We did see this one as a super treasure hunt. This is just the mainline variation, but I think it looks excellent. Love the silver wheels on this one. Nice looking, shiny, glossy paint job. Excellent looking detail on the front. Even the little license plate on the front right there, the little Audi logo right there. On the rear, great looking stampo work and all of that. And then on the top, you can see that blacked out interior. Just an excellent look looking Audi R8 Spider. 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser Mattel Game Series, car number four of five Guster on this one right here. Very cool design. Let's go ahead and get a close up look at all the details of this one. As you can see right there, the Guster on the side of it. That's got that raised front end right there from the wheel tire combination. We've got the uh, big engine on there in chrome, which has the exhaust that comes out just right behind the front tire and there is the guster on the top right there i'm not really familiar what guster is it might be some sort of game of some sort so you guys can explain to me in the comment section down below but look at the front and look at how aggressive this bell air gasser is lb works lamborghini huracan coupe liberty walk edition of course the hw speed graphics series car number 10 of 10 and it's got the mr mike's logo on there let's go ahead and open this one brand new release of this one for 2021 just check out the design of this one loving these new wide body looks that they're coming out with big rear lip on that right there look at it from the side very aggressive looking even from the front end check that out such a cool looking design i'd like to see this one in a different color i'm not a really big fan of the color combo of this one but the design of this Lamborghini Huracan looks so so cool. Tell you to Land Cruiser 80 HW Hot Trucks car number seven of ten. The big Hot Wheels logo, the big design on here. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. This is one of those newly kind of popular colored cars. It's kind of that like it's got that gray, very very glossy, and it's kind of almost got like a blue tint to it. Maybe kind of. We got the black wheel on the back right there as a spare. There's your side look, brand new casting. Love the front end look. Good looking stamping tempo work all that good stuff we got the sunroof on the top of it just an excellent looking toyota land cruiser nissan sylvia s13 hwj imports car number nine of ten this one in red with the white wheels on here i love the glossy red look to this car here right there you can see it's very very clean design white wheels we got that front lip on there the pop-up headlights so you don't see any headlights or anything like that just a great looking design good looking stamping on the back of it just such a clean looking nissan 1998 Honda Prelude in yellow, HWJ imports as well. Car number two of 10, we've got a cool looking custom black front hood on this one as you can see yellow all around big sunroof on there we've got smaller white wheels on here i don't know if the white wheels really fit with this color though we got cool looking front end though i really really like the aggressive design on the rear we've got nice stamping we got the honda logo for there if you're a prelude fan this one might be the one to collect 1998 subaru impreza 22b sti version hwj imports as well car number one of ten let's go ahead and pop this one open we had this one originally released in a blue color several different recolors of this but what do you guys think of this one it's kind of like an emerald green color we got the gold wheels on here very very cool looking design from the front end really
really like all the aggressive look of this one. We got the big rear spoiler on there as well. Single exhaust on the left hand side. Nice stamping for those rear taillights. Just a great looking design car overall. And last but not least, we have the Nissan R390 GT1 factory fresh series car number nine of 10. We'll go ahead, pop this one open. We saw this one released in blue for its first release. And now we do have the red color variation. Which color do you like best of these two? But check this one out. Great looking design. Very classic of a 90s type hypercar, supercar. From the back end, you can see the nice looking stamping. All the lights are all correct right there. From the side, these wheels do kind of fit this car being a little bit older of a supercar. And from the front end, you can see the nice looking lights and the Nissan logo. What do you guys think of this R390? And there we have all of the best new 2021 Hot Wheels main lines in the comment section down below. Let me know which car I opened up today was your favorite. Don't forget to hit that like, follow and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peak timers phil here from peak time racing let's go ahead and open up some new hot wheels and matchbox cars including this really cool new premium hot wheels car and we'll start it off with some matchbox cars we've got this off-road rally series subaru wrx sti check out the light bar on there, I believe this is like a police rally car of some sort. It looks like it's got the police light bars on there. This is part of a set, as you can see right there. I don't have the complete set. We've got some of the cars from the set that we're gonna open up today, but let's go ahead and open up this Subaru WRX STI. I love the blue on there. It looks really, really cool. The zero, zero, it's a safety car. Okay, it does say safety on there, so it's like a safety rally car. If we look on the front end right there, we don't have much as far as light stamping or anything like that goes. We do have that classic WRX uh, hood scoop right on there as well. We look from the side, very, very nice. The graphics look great. Big spoiler on the back of this WRX, of course it does. And next up, also from the same series, we've got the 2010 Ford F-150 SVT Raptor. I love the Raptor trucks, really, really cool graphics on there. Let's go ahead and open this one up and we can get a nice close-up look at this obviously from that same series of the WRX that we just opened up and there it is and check out those graphics on the side a nice looking kind of like a tangerine orange color it's almost got some like pearl esque to it as well match bucket specifies on the side of it right there big wheel tire combination uh, not much stamping anything like that on the front it does have that Ford written in there which is classic of the Raptor we look from the top right now we see the sunroof Roof, little vents on the front right there as well as we got the spare tire wheel combination this one does have a trailer hitch on there as well if we look from the back it does have stamping for the real lights but we do have an overall great looking ford svt raptor another off-road rally car we've got the 1985 porsche 911 rally edition so very very nice the porsche 959 was actually the most popular rally car in the 80s but that one came a little bit later than this 911 but still looks very very cool and was very successful back in the rally days you can see it's got all the supplies and stuff all on the top there the spare wheel tire some baggage and maybe some gas and stuff like that we've got the little lip spoiler on the back nice white wheels kind of cool that they've have these white wheels on here it is uh just period correct so it, it did have that in real life the porsche matchbox 13 on the side of it some little itty bitty writing can't tell exactly what that says right there but from the front end it's just mostly white we don't have much stamping for those lights and on the rear we've got that lip spoiler and that's about it it's an overall good looking designed rally car though and next up we've got some cars from a uk set this is the land rover series 2 safari and there it is sitting right there we'll actually look at the back it doesn't specify any of the cars from the sets but it is a uk set and it does have 12 cars included actually in a previous video i did open some other ones from the set as well and i found some more so let's go ahead and see what this land rover has right here and this one's in a nice maroon red color you can see blacked out wheel tire combination for there if we look at the front end really good detail on the front looks really nice nice and clean we've got the supplies on the top of it as well and we look on the back and it's got some nice stamping it's got the 
the Land Rover symbol right there. But just an overall, it's a clean looking car. Lotus Exige, also from the UK set. You can see this one in the classic British racing green color. Of course, the Lotus has to have the green color. This one does have a little extra bit of plastic there to protect it. We'll pull out the Exige, and I really like the Exige. It's essentially the coupe version of the Elise. Very, very popular car. We haven't seen too many of them in North America. They have come here, but they're not as popular as what they are in Europe. And the Exige, you can see, it does have that nice spoiler, and there is that hard top. I think it looks looks really good as a hardtop. It's it's really fitting as a coupe and a convertible. This car, very, very nice. Good stamping and tempo work on the front end right there. Very, very nice. Blacked out wheels on the side and then good stamping on the rear. It's an overall very, very good designed car and that green color makes it stand out very nicely. Another Lotus from the UK set as well, the 1972 Lotus Europa. And this one is quite an interesting Lotus car. We'll go ahead and pop this one open. And this is like part of that like 70s designed supercar. It's kind of got an odd shape to it. Maybe not the most comfortable or aerodynamic, but I mean, just look at that back. It's just, it's kind of weird looking. I don't know if I like it or if I think it's just ugly. I, I'm not really sure. I'm undecided on the Lotus Europa. Chrome interior on here, very flashy chrome interior. We look from the front end right there. Not bad, pretty clean looking car. It's got the like classic wheel tire combination on there, which actually looks pretty nice. But overall, the Lotus Europa, eh, it's okay. It's okay, it's not too bad. Moving on to some Hot Wheels, we've got a then and now series of the 1970 Chevy Camaro RS in orange. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Get a nice look at this one. Very glossy looking orange color, gray wheels on there, white interior. It's got the white striping that just goes down right in the center. It's got that nice lip spoiler on there, which looks really, really good. We look from the back, not much as far as stamping or anything goes on the rear end right there. They saved all the detail for the side of this Camaro, but overall it's a nice looking Camaro. And we go on to the next one and it is the now variation of that Camaro. So very, very cool. 2017 Camaro ZL1. And there it is, the then and now series, number five of 10. Let's go ahead and see the now variation from this same series. And there it is, blacked out wheels on this one, which is kind of like blacked out wheels are more like trendy nowadays than they were back in the 70s for the original Camaro there. And we got the white striping that goes down the center, just like the previous one. Got the little spoiler on there as well. Not much stamping or anything like that goes. There's that nice kind of quad exhaust tips right there. It's an overall great looking car. We'll actually look at them side by side right here. There is here, we'll put the, the 70s one on the top. So there is your then and now Camaro from this series. So it says 70 and 17 for the years of the then and now Camaros from this series. Factory Fresh 2006 Pontiac GTO in blue. And this is the new variation of the GTO. And this one does have like a drag pack on it. You can see it's got the wheelie bar on the back. It's got the parachute on there. I don't know what this would do in the quarter miles. It looks like a fairly stock car, like it wouldn't really need a parachute. Got a big cowl scoops on there. So maybe it does have a big engine underneath. Doesn't look like it's got like super wide wheel tire combination. Actually it does. No, it does. It does have the drag style wheels. It's got thicker rubber on the back and then it's got the skinny tires at the front. My bad. I stand and corrected so maybe this one is a fast one down the track but very very nice Pontiac GTO and we've got the other color variation of this one so we can look at them side by side this is like that burnt orange color of the Pontiac GTO same car just a recolor of it let's go ahead and pop it open and we can see this color right here. So it is that uh, kind of metallic look, burnt orange color. I've never really been a big fan of this color to be honest, but a lot of people really like it. And it was popular back in the mid 2000s. This one you can see a little bit better. You can see that parachute and the wheelie bar, no stamping or anything on the back of it though. And on the front, the front end does look really good. Good stamping on the front end. So I really do like that. Let's grab the other one right here and we can get 
that look of them side by side. So you can see the two color variations of the 2006 Pontiac GTO from Hot Wheels. Which one do you like better? 1985 Honda CRX from the HW Speed Graphics Series. So lots of different graphics on here. The big turbo on the side of it. Let's go ahead and open this one up and get a look at it. And there it is. Lots of really cool graphics on here. Red, white, and blue. It's definitely not an American car though. This is a Japanese import. No stamping on the rear end of it though, but overall it's a great looking design. Very aggressive, kind of like that intake on the front, even though it's engine in the back there. But nonetheless, looks very, very, very cool. I like the mesh wheels on here. They look fantastic. They match this car very nicely. Our next one, you might have seen a trend that we have going on here. We've got the black variation of that 1985 CRX, also from the HW Speed Graphics Series. Let's go ahead and pop this one open, and then we can look at them side by side in a second right here. There is your black one. You can see the mesh wheels on there. I like the blue and red though on this one. I think the, the black one looks a lot better. We can see from the front end, we can see that scoop. It's a little bit outlined in the red with the blue on the bottom and on the back end right there. Kind of plain blue base though, which looks really, really nice. I love the gloss of black look. All right, let's grab our white one right here and we can see them now both side by side. Great looking car, love the colors on these. If you're a Honda fan, this is definitely ones that you should collect. In the comment section down below though, guys, let me know again, which is your favorite color of these two Honda CRXs. And our last car that we open up today, our bonus premium Hot Wheels car, is the 2019 Subaru WRX. We opened up with the WRX and we'll close the video off with the WRX. I love these cars. I love the graphics on this one, especially that blue and yellowish gold and all that stuff right there. This one is a Hot Wheels Boulevard car. It did came in this series right here so you can see all the cars included and whenever there's a series that includes the vw drag bus the volkswagen drag bus i can never find the drag bus all these scalpers go up and buy all these drag buses off i don't have one single hot wheels drag bus in my collection but hey doesn't really matter we got the subaru wx let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice look at this one right here obviously it's premium so it's got a lot harder of a card right here and it's metal and we've got the real riders on there slicks on this one right here kind of weird for a rally car I guess this is an on-road car a race car I'm not too sure but there it is your Subaru graphics on the side of it the star check out these wheels those wheels are amazing looking I love them I love that spoiler on there it looks really cool we've got the Subaru on the front end very great looking design like just a premium Hot Wheels car, just so much more detailed than the main lines. And obviously you do pay a lot more for it. This one for me in Canada cost me $6.97. So it's about uh, five or six times more than a Hot Wheels retails for in Canada for a main line. But an overall great looking car. You guys let me know in the comment section down below if you are a big fan of the Subaru WRXs. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you guys hit that like subscribe and follow and i'll catch you guys on the What's next up, one Peak timers phil here from peak time racing let's go ahead and open up over 15 of the newest hot wheels and we'll start it off with the 1994 audi avant rs2 we've got a brand new recolor of this one it's kind of a silvery gray color here let's go ahead and pop it open this one's from the factory fresh series brand new casting for 2021 we saw it originally release in blue and now we've got this color right here as you can see it's kind of like got like a gloss look over top of it so it's very very shiny i do like the color it actually is pretty nice it shows the details of the car very well if we look at the front end you can see all the nice details of that cool looking audi front end and then we've got kind of like a body kit lip type thing that goes all the way around the car right here the back doesn't really have much it does have a little cut for the exhaust though and and nice details on the back end for this Audi RS2. Next up from the Batman series, we've got the Batman Batmobile. Looks to be a new color of this one. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see if you're a Batman collector. 
This is definitely a cool one to get. And this one does have, it looks like a plastic body. I'm not too sure if it is. Maybe it is a plastic body. I thought it was maybe metal for a second there. And it does have really cool looking colored wheels on here. Chrome, kind of silvery chrome all around the back and the side right here. We got this weird sort of cut on the back right here for the casting. We got these fins on this one as well. And cool looking striping from the top for this Batman Batmobile. Bone Shaker from the Rod Squad series, car number four of five. This is a Moon Eyes edition. So it's actually, normally we see the yellow Moon Eyes editions. Now we've got this like kind of grayish Moon Eyes edition. I think this one is a matte finish. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see how it feels. It is definitely a matte finish to it. And there is your Moon Eyes on the side of it. Chrome exhaust and we got the chrome on the top. Kind of looks like titanium type chrome. And then of course the classic bone shaker skull from the front end chrome all in the interior right there these wheel tire combination i'm not a huge fan of i don't really like these wheels i think they're kind of ugly but uh, a lot of the older cars will have these ones on they kind of look period correct but for now i mean on a bone shaker i would have liked to see something a little bit crazier but what do you guys think of this new bone shaker from hot wheels draft nader from x racers car number five of five track stars let's go ahead and pop this one open this is our first recolor of this one we did get it in like a x-ray racers orange and now we've got it in this one right here and as you can see looks really really cool the x racers you can see right through the car so if we look over the top you can see kind of like the chrome on the inside for the interior the engine and the rear end right there on the bottom it's just a matte black finish from the back we've got you can see right through as well. We've got this lip spoiler on here and these kind of rail things right here, which kind of hold the car down. And from the front, you can see that big chrome right there on that grill. And it's an interesting looking car. It's basically just a race truck, the Draffinator. Big Air Bel Air from Baja Racers, car number 10 of 10. The Baja Racers, we do get those tires that look like they're gone through mud. And you know how much I've been a big fan of this series for this year. You can see it right there. Look at all the mud on the tires right there. You can see the tire wheel combination looks all dirty. This is an interesting color for it. It's kind of that new like mainstream color. It's kind of like a, a grayish bluish green type of color right there. As you can see, it's a glossy finish. It's got like this stripe that goes just right on the top uh, roof right here. And then it's got this red outline striping right there. But uh, the Big Air Bel Air, it's a very, very cool looking casting. Very fun, interesting. Lots of different recolors for this car. And I'm sure we're gonna get some more in the future. 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata from the then and now series car number four of 10 and this one looks to be a matte gray finish let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like up close right here it is a very cool looking finish to this car blacked out wheels that big rear spoiler on there just sticking right out it's got the roll cage on the inside with the black interior we got that off center stripe right out the front it's kind of a new trendy thing a lot of cars are doing we do have the Mazda logo just right there on the front and then there's that front end which looks really really neat I mean this color it, it definitely looks really really cool with this car with the blacked out wheels for this mx5 miata treasure hunt time 65 for galaxy from the muscle mania series and it is a treasure hunt and i'll go ahead and show you exactly where the treasure hunt logos are on this uh, as we open up a treasure hunt packaging always remember if it's a treasure hunt or a super it's going to have the logo just right on the back right there so we can confirm that it's a treasure hunt that's your treasure hunt logo and there is the car itself right here and if we look just right on the front fender right there there's your little treasure hunt logo with the hot wheels logo just right above it so you can see that right there and if we look on this side as well we can see same thing fender it's just kind of a mirrored image of it you can see that little treasure hunt logo just right there the 21 the ford 65 ford galaxy 427 cubic inch engine big engine in this one the number 21 on the top maybe for uh 21 for the year of this casting i guess 2021 hot wheels and very cool like the yellow you guys know yellow is my favorite color i like this like titanium chrome look grill on the front that's really cool and if we look in the bottom kind of blends in as well it's that same kind of chromish titanium look for this very cool new treasure hunt mclaren f1 from hot wheels exotics i've been waiting for this moment to open up this car i've been waiting for hot wheels to release the f1 road car let's go ahead and open this one up you guys know it's my favorite car of all time in real life the mclaren f1 and we do have a gtr variation from hot wheels but now we have the road car variation and i absolutely love it love it in the silver silver is kind of the original color that the mclaren f1 was released in. it's kind of like their their show car color and you can see great detail for those lights right there the lights the stamping all that looks good the mclaren logo just right there on the front if we go to the back 
great detail on the back end of this one as well for all the stamping and lights and everything. Just looks absolutely awesome, amazing, fantastic. One of the greatest Hot Wheels ever. You guys know this is gonna be my top 10 Hot Wheels releases for 2021, 100% for sure, you know it. The McLaren F1. Let me know what you guys think of this one in the comment section down below. 68 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S from Muscle Mania Series, car number seven of 10. Nice looking two-tone color on this one. Let's go ahead and open it up and get a nice close-up look. Get out of the packaging. There you go, car. We've got it. We've got it. Muscle car, of course. If you're a muscle car fan, this is definitely one to add to the collection. Cool looking. Plymouth on the side. Mopar, the Hot Wheels logo right there. Staggered. Bigger wheels on the rear. Smaller ones on the front. Nice touch to that one. Pretty clean from the rear end right there. Clean on the top as well. There, that hood with that kind of hood stripe and that just blends right into the front end of this car but it's just an overall it's a clean looking muscle car i don't know if you guys like it let me know down below bot wheels from hw space series new color of the bot wheels we've seen lots of different interesting colors of this one and i mean this one definitely looks like a, a space walker like this car should definitely be going on the moon just the way this look is we've got like a, a matte purple on the inside with the white and then these different colored wheel tire combination on here just look at that from the front just an absolutely crazy looking car just look at that isn't that insane very very cool looking i do like the bot wheels it's an interesting car it's an interesting fantasy car i mean it definitely fits in with the hw space series 89 mazda savannah rx7 fc3 s brand new recolor of this one we did get this one i think we have a, a red and a white one of this one released and now we've got it in this kind of like it's a purplish blue color kind of uh let's go ahead and pop it open right here Nice and glossy, you can see it right there. Wow, just look at that, just, just looks awesome. Love the blacked out wheels with the chrome lip on there. Great detail on the rear, you can see that with that dual exhaust that kind of pops out right there as well. And from the top, it's got the sunroof and then it does have the off center front scoop on there you can see it right there and pop-up headlights on this car in real life so that's what it's got meshed in there we got the little marker lights at the front little fog lights right there which looks really really cool just an overall great design car really really huge fan of the older mazda rx 7s porsche 914 safari we've got a new white release for this one from the hw exotic series car number five of ten let's go ahead and see what this one looks like right here this one has come out in a few different recolors already and now we've got this white one blacked out wheels porsche logo on the side the 21 we've got all the stuff that it carries and stuff on the top because it is like a baja racer car it's even got that big push bar on there with the lights that are meshed in this is just a plastic piece right here but the body itself is fully metal on the bottom we do have the plastic that's kind of blended in right there just an overall great looking design car it's really really cool to see a baja variation of a porsche 914 never thought i'd expect that to come to a hot wheels lineup but we've getting good recolors of it so far Manga Tuner from the Tune Series, car number five of five. There we go, we got this one. This is a fun car. I mean, the the actual cars that they do have like this, I'm not sure exactly what they call them, but they have them in Japan with these big exhausts and all that. But just check out the tuned version of this one. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Just look at how big that exhaust that does come up here. The massive lip spoiler. I mean, it's kind of just making fun of these cars. We do got the big front diffuser on there, really tiny small white wheels and then this just huge thing that just comes up here oh my gosh the thing it's just so funny looking it's just so funny to see a tuned out variation of this car i like it i like it a lot crescendo from the hw exotic series car number seven of ten this car has proven to be very fast down our track so we'll definitely be racing this one in a future video and i like the new yellow color of this one white interior on there as well cool looking colored stripe down the center and and then these wheels that we've seen released on, originally I think it was released on a Tesla Model X, and we're getting lots of different variations from Tesla releasing on them, or from Hot Wheels, not Tesla releasing, the Hot Wheels are releasing on them. And we got this like kind of cool like side lip thing to this right here. And if you look in the bottom, nice and chromed on there, Crescendo, this is gonna be fun to put down the track and see how good it does. And our last car that we're opening up today is the Toyota Land Cruiser 80 from the HW Hot Truck Series, car number seven,
10 of 10. I really, really like this new casting. It's gonna be fun to see this one come out in some new recolors, but this color that it released in right here, very, very cool trending color. I think it's very fitting of the Toyota Land Cruiser. We do have the nice gray colored wheels on the front and, or sorry, on the sides of it. And on the front, we do have the Toyota logo with a little bit of a mini push bar with lights, good details for the lighting and stuff like that. We got the sunroof right there on the top of it. And then on the back, we do have the spare tire wheel combination. It's too bad the spare tire and wheels isn't the same as the actual ones on here. That would have been a cool touch. But nonetheless, it's an overall great design car. It's a nice welcome to the Hot Wheels lineup. All right, guys, in the comment section down below, let me know which were your favorite two cars that we opened up today. If I had to pick just one, you guys know it's that McLaren F1. I absolutely love it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.